Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you, please invite your friends and today we are going to answer Mr. Insane. Uh, Mr. Insane is a very well known knowledgeable person from Indonesia and uh, he is a genius. Uh, you know, but I'm not surprised because all those insane, uh, they are genius, you know. Uh, he just posted a video actually, I was going to talk about a different topic. But I just saw it. I said, okay, well, let us go do some spanking in the morning. Uh, is, is everything coming good? All right. Let us not to waste time and see what Mr. Insane want to say to us. Now, you know, uh, before we start answering, you know what? Let us go and see what he will say. Go ahead, Mr. Insane. Now, we will prove that what Christian Prince believes is all these times needs to be corrected because he always blames Islam, Quran, Prophet Muhammad, and even Allah, the one and only God. Just, we just straight, straighten and show him which is the true religion. Guidance belong to Allah. It is not important. Stop. You see, I'm trying to have patience to listen to him. Did he say guiding belong to Allah? Did he say guiding belong to Allah? Let us go to the Quran. Just to show you, Muslims, that those who teach you Islam, they are a bunch of ignorant. Chapter 4, verse number 88, it doesn't say that the one who guide you is Allah. It says the one who misguide you is Allah. And this is the verse in front of you. And here the Muslim, by the way, they add like things between the, the bracket, but it's not really in the Quran. Like they are evil. It doesn't say that, you know. However, it says that those who they are munafiqin, the correct translation. Are you going to guide them? Are you going to guide them? When Allah is the one who deceived them, look at the first translation. They say, "It is Allah who throw out. They throw them out away. He throw them what? What do you mean throw them away? Let us change the translator. Just to show you how how ignorant those who call themselves stars. They have no idea. Guidance does not belong to Allah. Deception belongs to Allah. Here we go. We just change the translator. Look what happened. And this is a Muslim translator too. It says, do you want? To guide him, him who Allah he made, he made has made to go astray. Astray here is a translation for the word adal. Adal means deceive. Are you going to reduna and tahdu man adallallah wa man yudilallah falan tajdalahu sabila? And the one who Allah deceive, you will not find guidance for him. So this guy from the beginning, he start belly dancing. Guidance belongs to Allah. So what this verse is about? And what kind of Allah is Allah? He says, are you going to guide the one who I deceived? Okay, hold on. That's mean anyone who is deceived in this earth is deceived by Allah. Correct? Uh, this is chapter 4. You guys, you are not focusing with me. I said already, chapter 4, verse number 88. Chapter 4, verse number 88. So the Quran, and by the way, this is why my book is called The Deception of Allah, because Allah deceive. And his deception, it's not, you cannot cure it supposedly. So Allah is saying, are you going to guide the one who I deceived? You cannot find a way for the one who I deceived. And here Muhammad, he exposed himself that he is not following the true God, because God, he sent his prophet to guide the one who is deceived. You see, Jesus said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy, right? <laughs> this is what the doctors do. Doctors, they come to the sick, not to the one who is healthy. The one who is healthy, he does not need any doctor. So when God, he sent the prophet, he sent them to guide, not to misguide. Look what Allah is saying. Are you going to guide those who I deceived? So here, we have 
their answer that Allah is not God, Allah is the devil. Uh, if you ever suffer from buffering in the broadcast, just refresh the page. All right? Just click at YouTube again, get out and click again, in case. Don't pause those things like buffering, buffering. You know what I can do about it is internet. So here we notice from the beginning that Allah is the devil. For Allah, not only he could confirm that he is the one who deceive people, he is the one who will not let them be guided. So this person saying, uh, accept phone call, I don't know. We will see, depends how, far, how fast we go. So, uh, when, when a Muslim, he says to us, Allah is the one who guide, I laugh. Because this is against the Quran teaching. And I understand what he, why he's saying that, because the Quran is against the Quran. The Quran is a stupid book. You see, the Quran says, if this is a book not from Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. You know? You will find in it a lot of contradiction. And this is exactly what we find in the Quran. How Allah is the one who guide, and how Allah says, are you going to guide the one who I did deceive? In chapter 4, verse number 82, Muhammad in his Quran said, If this is a book not from Allah, then you will find a lot of contradiction. Here we go, we find a contradiction. How this guy he is saying in his video that the, the, the guidance belongs to Allah, and then in the same Quran, which he is reading from, it says that deception belongs to Allah, and Allah deceived, and he will not allow anyone to be guide, guided, especially the one he targeted. And then here you ask yourself, why Allah want to misguide people? Doesn't make sense unless he is the devil. And this is exactly what we are talking about. Allah the devil, he will not like to see people guided. Hmm? And that is his mission in this earth. If we go, if we go like, you know, uh, we ask uh, Muslims some questions. Uh, Actually, let us go back to this guy because you see, I don't know. He, the guy, he just start talking, and he get a spank from the beginning. And do you think he is going to answer? Do you think he will ever dare to answer what I just said? That the Quran says, "Are you going to guide the one who I mislead?" He will not. You know what I mean? So what those guys are, it's like a, it's like a, a drum. Too much noise, but it's empty from inside. We have no answer for anything. Okay, this is my question to the Muslims. We just showed you a verse from the Quran saying, Allah guide the one who Allah must guide. Why Allah is guiding people? If God is, is Allah, is all merciful. The guidance belongs to Allah. Allah, he sent messengers, 124,000 messengers to guide. And then yet he says, are you going to guide the one who I deceived? <laughs> Why you deceive them? Because he's the devil, right? Now, let us go back to this uh, Abdul. And see his wisdom. You know, he don't have wisdom. He have wisdom. Possible for Christian prince to convert to Islam? Yeah, well, you know, to be honest with you, sometimes like I'm single, and I close my eyes, I see versions. You know, I see the Quran. Like as example, the Quran promised me women, women with big boobs. All my life, I wanted to have a cow. I like farming. You know, I cannot resist have a cow in my house. I mean, big boobs. Why are we? What, what does that mean? So they, they will convert to Islam. This is the most stupid cult ever. You know, you know, they, you know you, to convert to Islam, you have to put your head in the side and walk with your private part. This is the only thing Islam offer. It's a private part religion. Big boobs, vagina, long penis. What Islam, you idiot? At least bring me a religion. I mean, what is this? It gives you black stone. And if you touch the black stone, Allah raise your sin. And if you walk around the Kaaba seven times, say, Allah, 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 Allah forgive your sin. I mean, this is the most stupid ritual or religion ever. In the top, it's violent, it's hateful, it's disgusting, it's violent against your family, your wife, you beat your wife, you beat your children. I mean, this is a bit disgust, disgusting, any humane religion. So don't tell me convert to Islam. Tell me, you see what? There is a there is a pe people who worship Satan. You know you can find them even in USA. They have they have a, a like a, a building which is like a mosque or a church. They call it 
the, the, the temple of Satan, you know. So even those who worship Satan, they don't believe in evil as Muhammad. Imagine. Until now, we did not see of any of those who believe in Satan and they worship Satan doing suicide bombing. Making a video of somebody chopping his head. Never. Yet they believe in Satan. They, they worship Satan. So your God Allah is more evil than Satan himself. He is behind all Satans. Let us continue. If Allah wills, according to the Christian... Okay, so how, how this video will work? How this video will run? Did, did he say if Allah will? Guys, did, he, did you hear it? Did he, this, this idiot, he just said, if Allah will, Christian prince, he will convert to Islam if Allah will. Did you hear it? Anyone notice how stupid this statement is? He just admitted that Allah is a deceiver because Allah don't will. He don't have the will to convert me, so I'm not converted. So anyone... By his statement, anyone who rejects Islam, it is Allah will that he will not accept Islam. So why he will go to hell? Allah should go to hell because it is Allah will for me not to convert. Which speed? X2? What speed X2? What does that mean? Are you under the influence of the BMW he promised me? So he just said, if Allah will, I will convert to Islam. So a question to you then, why Allah don't will? Huh, here we go. That means you are stupid. Why are you are making this video? Because at the end of the day, if Allah will. Hmm? Stupidity. I mean, those people, they have a mouth, but their mouth you know, don't deliver word, deliver poo, poo Say again, say again the wisdom. not impossible right. for Christian prince to convert to Islam if... Allah will. See, it's not impossible to Christian prince to convert to Islam if Allah will. So what is stopping Christian prince is Allah will. So why you are blaming me, you idiot? That's mean Allah is a devil, and thank you for com co for confirming that. All right. According to the Christian prince, there is a testimony of Jesus that he is God. Indeed, in the gospel, there is one verse where Jesus claimed to be a God, which is in the John chapter number 13, verse number 13. Actually, there's only one verse in the Bible Jesus claimed to be God. Well, you are an idiot. You are just, you just confirmed that all your video is stupid. Because you are just you just say that Jesus in, cha in John chapter thirteen verse thirteen Jesus says I'm God. So what is the debate now? What we will do? You know what I mean, guys? I mean, do you see the stupidity? You just said there's you know regardless if there's only one or ten or twenty, you just said that there's one verse in the Bible. It says that Jesus said I am God. So you lost the debate. That's it. Because he don't need to say it 20,000 times. If he said, I'm God, that means he said, I'm God. Stupidity is amazing. Right? If I say I'm a Christian prince, I do not need to say it again and again. I, Hello? Let me introduce to myself to you. I'm a Christian prince. So should I say it after five minutes again? I'm a Christian prince. Hey guys, do you know what I am? I'm a Christian prince. Hmm? You just said that there is one, say it again, say it again. Would Jesus claim to be a God, which is in the John chapter number 13, verse number 13. Incredible. Should I continue with this video? Because he answered himself, the idiot. He just said Jesus claimed to be a God in John chapter 13, verse number 13. We are done. But just for the sake of entertainment, just let me tell you, I'm, I'm not answering you really. I, for me, I'm bored, you know, honestly. I'm, I'm looking for Muslims, you know, who can even speak to me in logic and look like you are the most logical one, you know. Uh, to the point, I find you extremely funny. I mean, the others are logical to the point they are hilarious. You know what I mean? You are funny, like, you know, yeah. Continue. So 
Oh, you just confirmed that Jesus says he is God. We are done. Okay, what else? Actually, mm. the real meaning of that verse is he is not God, but Lord. Oh, Lord. Okay, hold on, hold on. You see the word, the word in the in the verses there, they mention two words. Uh, rab, rabbi, rabbi, or Rabbi, and uh, Lord. But just to show this idiot he do not know what he's talking about. If I go right now in the Quran, and I will take the word Rabb, and I will type it in the front of you. So the Bible says that his disciple, they called him Rabb. Or Rabbi. Let us type Rabbi. Inna Allah Rabbi wa Rabbakum. Rabbi. See it? So they call him Rabb. They call him Rab. They call him Rab. They call him Rab. That's God. You see, even in, in the chapter 6, verse number 78, where it says that Abraham was worshipping the son, Akbar. That's why when he saw the son, he said, This is my God. This is Akbar. Look what he said. This is my Lord. This is Akbar. Do you know what the Lord here? Rabbi. Do you see it? This is the word used to anyone you worship so you just confirm you are an idiot that they call him rabbi and they call him lord okay now uh, rabbi here uh, is master but isn't it allah is a master of judgment day as muslim they say the one in charge rabbi in the same time is a word meaning god in the same time they call him lord with capital letter you know in hebrew there's no really capital letter you know there's not such a thing but you see in the translation, when they are they add the capital letter, they tell you what it's meant. Because this is at the end of the day is a translation for the verses. So this guy he do not know what he is talking about, right? Yeah. Let us continue and love together. Explain to us John chapter thirteen, verse number thirteen, a brother. It sounds you call me teacher and Lord, and it is right that you do so, because that is what I am. Once more, mm -hmm. once more. You call me teacher and Lord, and it is right that you do so, because that is what I am. Okay, so well, hold on. He is teacher. This is your, your, and by the way, he is using NIV translation. I don't advise anyone to translate, to use this uh, translation because it have a lot of mistakes. And even in the, in the first uh, printing they have, there is even missing verses, the same as Muhammad when the goat ate this Quran. So this is a very bad copy. The Muslim, they use it always for their entertainment. Uh, when they call him master and Lord, and this is in John chapter 13, verse number 13. You know, if we ask Mr. Uh, insane, okay, why well, you don't read for the Muslims chapter 13? And let us see what chapter 13 says. If we go to John, let me open it. Here always you need to remember when uh, uh, when a Muslim he quote for you something never trust what he say to you never 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 those people don't even know their own cult how they can answer about our faith so if you want to know what John chapter 13 saying you go and read it yourself and then you will find that John chapter 13 saying it clearly that Jesus is saying I am God how we can how we can find that Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hand and that he was come from God and went to God. This is a translation. Now, what does that mean? Father gave all things to Jesus. If there is any man, he is in charge of the whole universe. No. If there is any man, he can say such a claim that the Father, which is God, God the Father, he gave to a man everything in the universe in his hand. No. So what Jesus is saying, 
I am the man, but God is in me. Remember, he is this guy himself in saying, he said before that Jesus said, the one who saw me, he saw the Father. And the funny, he is the one who quoted that verse saying, in fact, there is a verse in the Bible that says that Jesus he is God when he said, the one he saw me, he saw Father. But now he have another verse, and he claiming that this verse now is the only verse in the Bible, which is contradiction for what he said in the other video. In the same time, you will see, if we go down, uh, uh, we will see more confirmation about who is Jesus. When he read for us, and when he said, you call me master and you call me Lord. You will see here the Lord is coming as Kabbalah. And ye say well, for so I am. Okay. If the Lord here, if the Lord here, uh, master, according to his uh, uh, meaning, teacher. Okay. And they call him Lord. What? Uh, how he is Lord? Okay, we got the word teacher, right? He said that the word master is teacher. All right. And we show you this is the word rabbi, actually. Rabbi can be a rabbi, the same as a teacher, yeah. But it can be God, too. But why they are calling him Lord? I mean, they are not his slaves. Jesus never owned slaves. He is not... Uh, uh, I mean, he have... What would make him Lord? He is not a king. He is not a prince. He is not. So why a human being seeing other human being in the street and he's called him Lord? Do Jesus hold a high rank in the society? No. All of us, we knew that Jesus is born from a normal average family like your parents and my parents. His father, he used to, you know, cut wood and make windows and doors. And they were talking about the father by marriage to Mary. So the father of Jesus by birth, which is a carpenter, is a humble family. So why people will call him Lord? This is a sign of submission to a person you believe is God. And Jesus did not say, don't call me that. He says, yes, I am. Okay. And then Jesus said to them to understand. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, you also wash another one, another one feet. I have given you example. This is Jesus showing us that he is Master, he is Lord, but yet he washed the feet. It's amazing, beautiful teaching of the Messiah, showing that Messiah is totally teaching, contradicting the Quran and Muhammad. Where Jesus is washing the feet, he don't want titles, even they are called. They are worshipping him, calling him master, calling him God, but yet he is washing their feet to give them an example that you cannot be proud if you follow me. You should not be arrogant. You should be a service person, a servant. And then he says to you, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. Neither, and here you notice the word Lord, is coming in a small letter. Why? Because this is an example about a servant in the house and the Lord of the house. Here you see the Lord is capital letter because they are calling him God. And this is where Mr. Insane, he lie. Now, it, you know, when, when, the, when, the, when the Messiah speak in the, in the gospel, uh, the Messiah teaching is very, uh, very deep. Not like the Quran, it's shallow, stupid, you know, like a rabbi music. We will find that all over the Bible here it says uh, that the Messiah is God. As an example in front of us, he said, Therefore, when he was gone out, Jesus said, Now it is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. So when you glorify Jesus, you glorify God. Okay. Can Muslims say, if we glorify Muhammad, we glorify Allah? No. How I glorify a man, and by glorifying a man, I glorify God, unless he is God. And he continues saying, If God be glorified in him, God shall also glorify him in himself, and shall straightway glorify him. This is very uh, very heavy for, the, for Abdul to understand, but it says clearly that Glorifying God is glorifying Jesus. 
and glorifying Jesus is a glorifying God for God is in Jesus and Jesus is in God which mean you know if you remember when one of the disciples of Jesus he said to him why you don't show us the father and that said hmm? Jesus said to him I am with you all this time and you do not know me and that in John chapter 14 where you, we will go to that verse later all right uh, so here you notice that this guy he cut out the very important messages in the in the verses so you will not see that Jesus saying it clearly that he's God let us continue a little bit with this uh, with this uh, funny guy so we can I hope there's no noise from the from from outside do we have noise yeah this is debris was passing by In the translation of English Bible, Jesus said, The teacher and Lord, or master and Lord. Eh? No teacher and God, or master and God. It's impossible that Jesus claimed to be God, since there are too many testimonies of him that say he was just sent by God. Pay attention to the testimony of Jesus in some following verses. John chapter number 5, verse number 32. The Father who sent me, once more, Jesus said, The Father who sent me. Oh. Uh, no, no, say it one more time. Say it one more time. Jesus said, The Father who sent me. The Father who sent me, sent me, once more, Jesus said, the Father who sent me. So you idiot, you are trying to prove to them that Jesus is not God, and Jesus, he says that the one who sent him is the Father. Do you see how stupid you are? So you are saying Jesus, he did not say he is God, he said I am the son of God. Is that what you are saying? I mean, I cannot, I cannot believe it how stupid this idiot is. Because let me say it one more time. The father who sent me. Okay, well, did you ask yourself why Jesus is saying the father? How come Muhammad did not say the father sent me? Hmm? If the father means God sent me. Okay, why Muhammad never said the father sent me? Do you see the stupidity? And he would do all, all the way in the video, keep saying, Jesus said, the Father sent me, the Father sent me. You just confirmed that Jesus, he is the son of his father. Who is the father? Is God the father? So Jesus, he claimed to be the son of God, and that is divine. God is God. Look, when we, when we speak to a Muslim, he is like a person... Uh, who put fuel in his car, but instead of putting it in the in the gas location, he put it in the radiator, and then his radiator gets so hot, and then he explodes. Do you Muslim ask yourself why Jesus calling someone supposedly he is God, my Father? And when you are quoting for me this verse. Which verse was? Let us see again. Let's go back. Uh, John chapter 5, verse number 37. 32. 32. The Father who sent me, once more, Jesus said, The Father who sent me also speaks for me, but you have never heard his voice or seen his face to face. Okay, hold on. Did Jesus say, the one who sent me, you never seen his face, you never heard his voice? Correct? Okay. Let us go to John chapter 5 and laugh at this guy. And remember always, I, we always we use the same chapters they quote for us to get them busted officially from there. You know what I mean? 
because he is the one who mentioned in John chapter 5 so let us go to John chapter 5 and you will see immediately how we will laugh at this madman all right <clears throat> This is, this is John chapter 5. Let me go to the screen for you and just open the page. All right. And he quote for us, as you remember, verse 5, 37, but in the, in the, you know, in the screen they have 37. And when he talked, he said 32. I don't know. So anyway, let us go and see in the in the in John chapter five. All right. Why you are quoting for me verses at the end, but you did not quote for me as an example verse in the beginning? Look what it says here. When Jesus he called, saying, "My Father." You see, I ask him a question. Why Jesus keeps saying, my father, my father, my father? For sure, he will never answer. But Jesus answered them, my father worked, you know, and I work. So Jesus claimed that my father and me, both of us, we are divine and we are one God and we work together, you know, which means it's the work of the father is my work. The Jews, look what they did. Therefore, the Jews thought the more to kill him because he is not only had broken the sabbath but he said also that god was his father making himself equal to god do you see it did jesus made himself equal to god yes so why you did not quote this one and you jump all the way to the end saying that he sent me Why you did not quote for them in chapter in verse number 25 in the same chapter it's saying verily verily i say to you that the hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the son of god why you did not quote for them that jesus saying clearly he is son of god so you are very good to go and see all oh, the word master or the word lord does not mean god but Jesus, he just said he is the son of God. So why you are not quoting this? Because you are a fraud and you are a hypocrite. Isn't this the same chapter? And not only that, Jesus said, For as the father has life in himself, so has given to the son have life in himself. So God the father have life in himself, the son have a life in himself too. They are... They, they have they, they have the equal thing of what both they have life on themselves the power of life and has given him the authority to execute judgment who is the one who have the authority it is the son who is going to judge mankind the messiah so when a Muslim he try to explain something, he make it you know he make himself look stupid because if we go and read the same chapter, we will see all this chapter saying that Jesus is God. You know, actually, I can I can punch you in the nose in two seconds and make you go dead. I mean, not physically, uh, by asking you a simple question. All this video is just to say Jesus. He said he said uh, uh, my father sent me. My father sent me. If I ask a Muslim. Who is the one who forgives sin? What the Abdul will say? Allah. Woman ya ghfir al dhunuba illa Allah, chapter 3, verse number 135. Who forgives sin except Allah? Does it, does it say that in the Quran? Correct, guys? Okay. Did, did Jesus say Go, your sin is forgiven. <laughs> it's over. 
and we do not even need to debate about it. You are stupid. This is your Quran saying clearly. And who can forgive sin except Allah? Who can forgive sin? Muslim, they will say Allah. Okay, question. Did Jesus in his life in this earth, he forgives sin? Let us see if this is true. Give me a second. <clears throat> Just to show you, you know, the stupidity. I mean, this is really, this is disgusting, actually. Dishonesty, misleading, deceiving, just to fool those poor Muslims. Jesus, when Jesus, he came to his disciple, uh, and, you know, uh, he said to them, you see the title here, it says, Jesus forgives sin. This is the title, uh, Muslims, this is the title in the Bible. Jesus forgives sin. We just showed you the Quran saying, who forgives sin except Allah? Can Muhammad forgive your sin? You say, no, a'uzu billah. Can Jibreel forgive your sin? You will say, a'uzu billah. Yeah, this is blasphemy against God. Nobody can forgive sin. Okay. Look what Jesus said. Jesus know what they are thinking. How Jesus, he knew how they are thinking, unless he is God. Actually, the Quran confirmed that Jesus, he knew what they are thinking. He knew even what they hide in their houses. If you remember in the Quran, where it says that uh, uh, I tell you what you hide in your houses. I tell you what you hide in your houses. So how Jesus, he knew what people they hide in their houses unless he is God. He knew the unseen. So look what Jesus said. If Jesus, he knew what they are thinking. He asked them. Why are you thinking evil things? Is it easier to say your sin are forgiven or to say get up and walk? Because talk is cheap, correct? Talk is cheap. So the Jews, they were upset from Jesus for he said your sin is forgiven. But you know what? I can say that too. I can say, hey, your sin is forgiven. Okay, which was obviously making me claiming to be God. But which one is easier to you? Because the Jews, they were saying, who is this one who forgives sin? God only forgives sin. And you see it in the verse there. So he said to him, cheer up the person here because there's a miracle. There's a miracle happening in life and thousands of people, they are watching and attending. And this person, he cannot walk. So he can be healed. From his illness so he said to them you know well i cannot i cannot walk each time i want to get there you know they somebody jump before me and come before me so he said to him jesus he said his, his when he saw his faith he said cheer up friend your sin are forgiven and then the rabbi and this is by the way translation you can change the translation just to show you i'm not taking I mean, I just opened this verse that came with this translation. I don't know what this translation is. You know, there is English of trans. The funny, by the way, the Muslim, they say to you, how many versions there is for the Bible? That is showing your stupidity. Uh, this is translation. If the word version means for you different Bible, that's mean the, uh, Yusuf Ali is a version, Biktar uh, uh, is a version, uh, etc. You know? So don't be silly. You have many versions of the Bible, brother. So, here. He said to him, your sin is forgiven. And then the Jews, they were wondering, how he say that? How he can forgive sin? So Jesus said to him, which one is easier to say the sin is forgiven or say rise and walk? Here Jesus not only proving that he can forgive sin as God, but he have the power of using the word be. You see the Muslim, they say, if Allah, he wants something to happen, he say be is going to be. Yet Allah never said be and something happened. And but this is proven in the Quran. As an example, when the Quran say the statement about be, speak about the Isa and speak about Adam. But if we search in the Quran, we will find that neither Isa, neither Adam was created by the word be, which means Allah he never said be and nothing happened by be. Allah took him all Friday afternoon to finish Adam by you know, getting mud, fashioning the mud, uh, uh, making the mud stand as a man, as a statue, and then the breathing in the mud, and then after breathing, even took time. So, where is B? 
So here they say in the Quran, chapter 3, verse number 59, the similarity between Isa and Adam that Allah, he said, be and he was. But we go, we find that Isa was not created by be according to Quran. Isa was a word of God sent down to Mary and then the Spirit of God breathed into Mary and then there was Isa. So where is B? That is a contradiction, a stupid maker of the Quran. He's an author, a stupid author. In the Bible, we will find where God, he said, be. As an example, God, he said, let be light, and light was. Let be light, and light was. That's it. And here Jesus is saying the same. Which one is easier? To say, forgive your sin, which means be forgiven. This is be forgiven. Or to say, stand up and walk, which means I say walk, that is be. Be as I say. The man, he stood up and he walked. So, from the beginning, we destroyed you by, so, by showing that Jesus forgives sin and Allah forgives sin. So, that means Jesus is God and Allah is not. Why? Because if we go and read in the Quran and the Hadith, we will find that sin can be forgiven without Allah. As an example, those who says Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Akbar, Allah forgive their sin. The one who go and touch the black stone, the black stone erase their sin. The one who do certain rituals, their sin is forgiven. So you do not need Allah. But in Christianity, giving donation will not forgive your sin. Like people, they give donation to Christian prince, that does not forgive their sin. That is a, you, you, don't, you cannot bribe God. You cannot bribe God, you know. Uh, giving a sandwich to the poor, that will not forgive your sin. No. Being nice and merciful, that won't forgive sin. You do those things because you are a Christian, because this is the fruit of the good tree which Jesus planted on you. But it's not that will forgive your sin. In Islam, all those things, you know, the attacking the Christian, killing the Christian, stealing the money, and then you give it as supposed to Muhammad, he keep most of the money in his pocket and he give little pennies into the poor and he say, here we go, I, I, I give it charity. So here you see that Jesus, he have the power of forgiving sin, which nobody have save God. Same you find in Mark chapter 2, if you read from 1 to 12, where Jesus, he is forgiving sin. And, you know, he said to him, your sin to be forgiven. Then they said, Clearly, look, read very carefully, guys. Who does this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sin but God only? You see it? So the Jews understood very well that only God forgives sin. And the Quran confirmed that too. Who can forgive sin save Allah? Chapter 3, verse 135. And this is in many verses in the Quran, not only one. So we do not need to debate about it. Obviously, the Bible says all over that Jesus is God. And I, if I ask uh, 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 this Abdul, can Muhammad forgive sin? He will say, no way, no. Actually, here we go. Even Allah cannot forgive the sin of Muhammad. Do you know that? Let me show you. <clears throat> Let us see. Can Allah forgive sin? The answer no. Chapter 48, verse number 2. Look what it says. Allah is saying to Muhammad, and look that the translation, by the way, here is disgusting. Look, look how the deception, Muslim they say that we corrupted our Bible. Look at the corruption. Why you are saying forgive the fault when in Arabic it says them baka? Ask you can take the word them in any dictionary. You say them means sin, but because they worship Muhammad, they don't dare to say Muhammad he have sin. If you change the translator, you will see the word sin appear. Like what happened? How come Muslim they understand the Quran differently? There's a huge difference between fault and sin. Fault is not sin. As an example, I'm driving my car, 
and I hate someone. That is a fault. It's not a crime, which means I did not mean to do it. It happened. It's a fault of a driving, either my fault or his fault. He crossed the street when it's not right, or I did pass the street when it is his right to pass. That can be fault. But it doesn't say fault, it says sin. And look what the verse saying. That may Allah, Allah may forgive the sin. What do you mean may? Is Allah is able to forgive or he cannot forgive? Jesus, he said to the man who is a sinner, your sin is forgiven. Why Allah is saying, may Allah forgive your sin? And Allah is saying to Allah, Allah is saying, may Allah forgive your sin. How Allah says, may Allah forgive your sin? Who is talking? Are we listening, people? If the one is talking is Allah, how Allah he say, may Allah forgive your sin? Obviously, the one who has been fabricating Quran, he forgot to switch. Because this is sound like a prayer. Right? This is a prayer. This is not God talking. If there is no way that Allah is talking, says, May Allah forgive your sin. Are you stupid or what? If Allah is talking, He will say, Your sin is forgiven. What may? When you say may, it means it's a wish. I say to you, May God forgive you. Okay, it's a wish from me asking God to do it because I am not the one in control. Right? So when God himself, he say, may Allah forgive you, obviously Allah speaking to other God. And there is two Allah then. Otherwise, there is no explanation for such a stupid statement. Secondly, here you see, I don't know if you heard before, the Muslim, they say that in certain time, there was a Pope who was given a certificate to go to heaven, which is absolutely false, by the way. I check it, there's not, it's not true. This is propaganda against the Catholic Church. And as you know, I'm not a Catholic. So I speak for the truth only. I don't speak for uh, a church name. But you see, the certificate of heaven is written in the Quran. Because when Allah is saying, forgive the past and the sin to come. How you forgive the past and the sin to come? That's an open license for sin. Do you see it? It says, may Allah forgive the sin that which is past and the one to come open license for sin islam is an evil cult telling you go sin as you wish don't worry be happy because the black stone your sin is gone you go under the kaaba seven times your sin is gone uh, if you pray the night of al-qadr which is very funny stupid thing to say uh, 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 is better than one thousand shahar <laughs> muhammad was trying to make a rabbi music and he come with this, and it's hilarious, you know. Uh, because imagine. See, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying just to connect the dots to, uh, together, for you. So you know, I'm, I'm trying to save you time to study and take notes. I hope people they are taking notes. The chapter of Al Qadr, the night of power, sound like a porn night night of power what does that mean is better than a thousand month okay what is a thousand month 83 years is it logical that if somebody he pray in this night which muslim do not know by the way which one they are guessing even muhammad do not know there's a hadith where muhammad he wake up from his sleep and he start praying <laughs> he came out and then in the way i supposed to somebody disturb him and then he came and he told his his his, his companion <sighs> I was re I remembered when the night of Al Qadr is, uh, but I forgot it. It sounds like a Mr. Bean, right? I mean, what kind of a prophet he remember it, and now he forget it just because he walked 100 meter away from his house. He walked 100 meter away from his house, and he forgot when the night of of power is, which is very important in Islam. Huh. Welcome to Muhammad. But look at this. The night of power is better than 1,000 months. Why Muhammad he made such a stupid statement? Because Muhammad was trying to make a rabbi music. If you notice with me, you don't, you don't know Arabic, but you will see at the end of the words here, all those end with the letter Ra. Qadr. Qadr. And repeating the same word in Arabic, if you repeat, if you are making a poetry or any, uh, if you repeat the same word twice, especially in a short uh, uh, page, that's mean you are limited in language. Shahar. Qadr. Amr. Fajr. You know, well, why you have to finish it with R? 
I mean, this is God. It's a rub. He's making a rub. And because he's making a rub, it doesn't make sense. Like I say, uh, uh, give me a word in the text to make a rub about it. Somebody give me a word. Hmm? Let us make Quran. Give me a word. Nobody have a word. Stupid thing. So just to make a rab uh, Quran, he added the word shahar at the end, better than 1,000 month. And by the way, the word shahar does not really mean month. It's month today, but shahar is a word mean moon. It's better than 1,000 moon, which means 1,000 month at the end of the day. Uh, uh, so it's, it's very stupid, you know, to believe in such a garbage. That if you pray one night is better than 83 years of a prayer. 83 years. Why? Because we pray in one night. It's called the night of power. Which Muhammad don't remember when it was. Shall we continue with him or he is not worth it? Because here we go, we just showed you that Jesus, he forgives sin, and the Quran says, and this is, by the way, this is an example for you as a Christian. If somebody says, where, how we can prove to me that Jesus is God, what do you do? Did you guys take note? Very easy. You say to him, the Quran says, only Allah can forgive sin, according to Quran, right? Who can forgive sin save Allah? This is what, this is what the Muslims believe. And as long as Jesus is saying that he forgives sin, that's it. That's, well, it's obvious that Jesus is God. There is no more than this, right? I made a translation. I paused, by the way, in his page. I paused it in his page in the Indonesian language. All right? Who forgives sin save Allah? Who? Nobody, according to Muslims. Chapter 3, verse 135. Right? The Quran confirmed that there is no exception. Nobody can forgive sin. Save God. So if a Muslim says to you, show me a proof that Jesus is God, very simple. Chapter 3, verse number 135 says, no one forgives him but God. And the Bible saying it clearly that Jesus, he forgives him. And you can show them. Either Mark to, uh, uh, you know, where it says that. Or you can go to Matthew 9, where it says that. The act of forgiving sin is something have nothing to do with any man, any prophet. No prophet can forgive you a sin. No priest, no bishop. You see, Muslim they lie. They say we Christians we confess our sin and the priest he forgive our sin. That's a that's a that's a lie. The priest himself he pray and he confess his sin too, asking God for forgiveness. So don't lie about us. Or they say the Pope he forgives sin. That's a lie. That's absolutely a lie. He himself, he confessed his sin and he asked God for forgiveness. For no one can forgive sin but God. Let us continue with this idiot. Shall we stop or I don't know. This guy is silly, but eh, let us give him a chance. But you have never heard his voice or seen his face you know i wish i i wish i can let the video go but each time he says something he, he reminds me of something getting him busted I and mean, i'm trying to let the video go he just said that nobody saw face and never heard nobody hears they did not hear his voice and they did not see his face okay who is the one who saw the face and who is the one who heard the voice Any Muslim? Any Muslim can help us? 
If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. I'm trying to let the, the video go, but uh, you know this guy, he keep making, he get himself busted. I mean, he, he's quoting for us verses, very powerful, will get Muhammad busted. If nobody can see God as he is, and nobody can uh, uh, be presented with God as he is, except Jesus. Because he did not quote the rest of the verses, Jesus says, you did not see him, but in the same time he said, Jesus, only me, only me, only the Son. In the Quran it says, لَمَّ جَاءَ مُوسَى لِمِقَاتِنَا وَكَلَّمَهُ رَبَّهُ Let us see the Quran. I will find it. Musa's chapter 7 verse 143 Musa's he told Allah can I see you I want to look at you chapter 7 verse number 143 what was the response of Allah supposedly and here by the way Muhammad is stealing story from the Jews all those Musa's and what Muhammad have to do with Musa's nothing Islam is like is a pagan cult but Islam is a cocktail, you know, he he wanted the Jews to join him, so he took some of the Jews, some the Christian to join, some took some from Christianity, the Hindus, the Buddhas, the, even even he promised the Sabian who worshiped stars to go to heaven. When Musa came to the place appointed by us, appointed by us who? Allah. Why Allah says us if he's one? They say to you, because speak as himself as majestic, which is stupid. Because saying he is majestic, that means he is making himself equal to a full king who speak about himself by saying the word us, thinking that making it us will make him many. That means Allah is a fool. Unless he mean that he is many. And his Lord addressed him, he said, O my Lord, show yourself to me, that I may look upon thee. Allah said, By no means canst thou see me. So nobody can see Allah. Correct? Nobody can see Allah. Okay. If we ask this Abdul, who he just said, that Jesus said to them, but you never saw and never heard his voice and never seen his face, face to face. And you know, he is using uh, NIV translation, which I don't approve, but it's okay. Let us go to the same books he is quoting for us from. If we go to John, John 1, you will see in John 1 18, it says, No man has a translation which he like the NIV, which I don't approve really because there's mistakes obviously in it. I will use the NIV, the translation that Abdul he is using, just to make to make him more comfortable. Is that fair, guys? This is the translation of the of the of the translation you choose, which means you like. You cannot say I don't like this translation. I like okay so you cannot you have no excuse okay it says here no one has ever seen God but the one and only son who is himself God guys do you see it he himself this idiot he is using me with the clear words that nobody seen God except the son who he himself is god does it say that it does let us line it up no one has ever seen god so make it clear nobody's seen god the real the real ethan of god like the way he is but one and the only son so you see the muslim they might say to you the bible many times speak about son, sons of god etc 
but there's there, there's a, a figure of speech and there is a there's a word about only one person who is really the only one begotten son of god that is jesus so i can call myself child of god and i called my 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 god my father but doesn't make me the only begotten son only jesus is the only begotten son so look what it says no one ever have seen god but the one and the only son who is himself God. How clear we can make it more. So why you are quoting to the Muslim the book of John, but you don't say what John book says? Why you are a hypocrite? Hey, my friend, the customer who wanna call, we can call after we finish. So what? We will stop what we are doing. If you are in a rush, take the bus and go. If you have time, sit with us, you are welcome. Somebody told you I'm your waitress or waiter. So the Bible clearly, the Messiah clearly saying that he is the son of God. Seeing him is seeing God. He is the only begotten son of God and he is God himself. So why you know, he is not quoting this for us? The Muslim, they give us now interpretation of the Bible when they cannot even give interpretation for the Quran. Have you ever heard of such a stupid thing? Those Abdul, they cannot give even interpretation to their own book. Like as an example, if you remember, he quote for us John chapter 5, right? Didn't he? If you go back a little bit, uh, let us see. Wheels. According to the Christian prince, there is a testimony of Jesus that he is God. Indeed, in the gospel, there is one first word. Yeah, here we speak about 13. Let's go to number 5. It sounds, you call me teacher and Lord, and it is right. You call me teacher and Lord. In the version of English Bible, Jesus said, the teacher and Lord, or master and Lord. Eh? No teacher and God, or master and God. Lord is not God, that's it for him, that's it, it's convincing, okay. Go to the second verse. It's impossible that Jesus claim to be God. It's impossible, but he is the one, I mean, uh, what I can say. Uh, where is uh, where is five? Well, let's get to John number five. He said John number five. I remember. Here we go. Yeah, John number five, and he quote number uh, testimony of Jesus in some following verses. John chapter number five, verse number thirty-two. Okay, John chapter five. We showed you in John number five. Uh, uh, in verse number 18 that the Jews wanted to kill Jesus for he made himself equal to God correct if you remember as we go back John number 5 you see actually I'm, I'm happy that this guy is doing this because that make us as a Christians have a good nice Bible study right that's wonderful so and I'm going to use the same interpret uh, translation he is using which I don't approve I don't use this translation and I told you why Translation at the end of the day, I can translate a book and I can publish it and you know, it's there. I can translate a Bible. It's called Translation of Christian Prince. However, if anything there is not fit with the language or something is missing, we don't approve it. However, I'm going to use the translation you like. All right. If we go in chapter 5, verse number 18, we showed you the authority of the Son. This is the translation he like. It says here, 
when the, G, the, the Jews, they start questioning Jesus about doing miracles in the Sabbath. And Jesus said to them, My father is always at his work to this very day. And I too am working. Remember, none of the Jews is allowed to do work in Sabbath. So why Jesus is doing work? For he is God. This is a law I give to you. To pray, to give to, you know, like to, 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 to be with God, to, to, to take a break, to rest. And this is why Jesus said Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for Sabbath, which is amazing wisdom. Beautiful. Where the Muslims, they are trying to make the same. You know, they are trying to copy the Jews and they made every ritual which is made for God but ritual is not made for the man. So Islam turned to be a ritual religion, stupid ritual religion, like, you know, going around the Hajj, is, uh, the Kaaba is a, is a necessity to forgive your sins. So this is ritual, and this is made for God. If you do that to God, Allah will forgive your sin. When Jesus, he said to them, the Sabbath was made for the man, that's mean I gave you Sabbath order so you can take a break. Don't be a person who love and worship money. And here it says, my father always working and I am too. That's mean the work of the father and the work of the Messiah is the same. When I work, the father is working. When the father is working, I am working. And not only that, he said, for this reason, they tried all more to kill him. Not only he was breaking the Sabbath, but he was making calling God his own father, making himself equal to God. Now, we showed you this. Now, if you go down a little bit, you will see Jesus saying the following. Remember, actually, this guy himself, he quoted this verse before. Remember, but he quoted, he quoted the verse only. He stopped there. The son, he can do nothing of his own. Okay, what does that mean? That's mean that the, the, the man you see in front of you, this is the power he have. It's not the power of a man. This is the power of God in this man. He can only what he sees and the father doing so he have power to do what the father is doing what the father doing creation he can create what the father can do give life he can give life because whatever the father does the son also does if i claim that whatever god do i do that's mean i am saying it clearly i'm god you see i'm not saying whatever god ordered me to do i will do as a human no Whatever God does, I do. So what God does? Creation, resurrection, giving life, forgiving sin, right? <clears throat> and the Father, he loved the Son. And not only that. For just as the Father raise the dead and giving them life even so the son give life to whom he pleased to give and yet they say to you where jesus says i'm god the same as god the father who is in heaven he can raise life i give life the same is he making himself with a clear statement that he can do exactly what the father can do yes what the Quran says about resurrection it says who can resurrect except Allah it is he who resurrect you from death and Jesus says I resurrect you from death too not only that Jesus says moreover and again this is a translation I don't really use and I told you why I'm using the translation he is using in his screen moreover the father judged no one but he has entrusted all judgment in the son so who is the one who will be the judge in the judgment day? Who is the one who have the authority? And do you know what does that mean? That means we, all of us, we will not be judged by the Father, but by the Christ. The one who decides your destiny, and when I say destiny, I mean decision, to go to heaven or hell in the judgment day based on what we did and what we believe in, 
is the Messiah. So can Muhammad say that Allah will not judge you in the judgment day, I will judge you in the judgment No, actually even Muhammad, he says clearly that the Messiah will come down to this earth and he will be hakaman muqsitan. He will be an absolute just and judge. If we go in the yellow pages of Muhammad, which is called Quran or Hadith, we will find the following. Do you see it? The Messiah will come down as an absolute judge. And who can be just and judge save God? Because a human being, when he judge, he judge by his knowledge. And this is why his judgment will not be just. Not only he will judge by his judgment, but by his ability, which means what? He can make mistakes in what is right, what's wrong. He can make mistakes about what, he, what this guy he deserves. You know what I mean? Because just is about making it like in the, in the if you have a white, like if you white a hair, little hair, you put it in the top of the scale. If you add it more than what it should be, that will break the scale. The scale is not right no more. So to say just, it's as saying not even one hair weight will be an correct in this order in this balance how jesus can be just and judge yet he is a human unless he have the power of god because he knew you need to know what you hide in your head he need to know what you did in your crimes or in the back scene or the end scene and he need to know what is right perfectly and he need to know what is the correct judgment and there's no human can do that. One of the names of Allah in the Quran is Al-Adil, which means the just. And Muhammad, he just gave the title of being Adil, just, and judge to Jesus. And remember here, Muhammad saying that Jesus will descend, which is amazing. Why all prophets right now are in grave and Jesus will descend? Why Jesus right now is enjoying the scenery from heaven while Muhammad is routing in the grave. I remember once a big sheikh, he came to visit my father and he said to him, you are a great man with a great, you know, like, let us say, position. Why you don't convert to Islam? You know, it's, they are like kind of a nice conversation. My father politely he said to him, "Okay, well, where is uh, where is uh, where is Prophet Muhammad now?" He said he is dead. He said to him, "So where is uh, the Messiah now?" He said he's alive. So my father he says, "Well, I am alive, and I will follow the living one. When I die, I will think about it." <laughs> so my friend, you Muslims, you are being fooled by Muhammad. How he said to you that Jesus is alive in heaven and you follow the dead one, Muhammad? How in the world you follow a dead man? Let us say for the sake of argument, Jesus is just a prophet. I mean, isn't it obvious that Jesus is the one to follow? Why he is alive? Obviously, his mission is not over. Muhammad is over. Muhammad is over. Muhammad, when he's, you know, he said uh, that we profit when we die, uh, our body will not decay. And then the Muslims they did not bury Muhammad for three days. And then his nails start getting green and his skin and his fingers they shrink and then he starts farting from his belly all the gas of the food he ate because when a person he die especially if you don't put him in a refrigerator all the bacteria in his stomach will start you know the process of the food and then gas will come and will be in his stomach because now he's dead so his belly will be getting bigger and bigger. This is why the Hadith says, 
his belly, his stomach become, become so big. And why the Muslims did not bury Muhammad? Because they thought he would be the same as Jesus. Maybe Allah will take him to heaven. And Muhammad, he said to them, clearly, as you see in the hadith, that we are a prophet and our body will never decay. The Muslim believe it. So why they want to bury a person who his body will never decay? His body will be reserved, preserved, even if with him out for a thousand years. So they keep Muhammad. Uh, this one is Da'if. The Muslim, they will say this is Da'if. Let me show you a different one. Hold on. <laughs> da'if, Da'if. Everything is Da'if. <laughs> so when, when Muhammad, he said that statement, he exposed himself. For this is a proof that he is a fraud. Because here we go, his belly having gas and he is farting left and right and his skin color change. This is why the Muslim did not even wash Muhammad when they bury him. They, they could not even carry him because his skin was coming out like a zombie. So they buried him in the same place where is the bed of Aisha because they cannot move him. They cannot take his clothes off him because his clothes is stuck with his skin. Three days, three nights in the heat of Mecca where it reached up to 60 degrees sometime. So they bury him in the same. Someone is saying this is Da'if. Oh, no, this is not Da'if, my friend. Here we go. I got you busted. The Muslim, they love to say Da'if. You know, just say to them anything, they say Da'if. Quran is Da'if. Allah is Da'if. Muhammad is Da'if. All of them is Da'if. Islam is Da'if. Sheikh are Da'if. Uh, everybody is Da'if. So when Muhammad claimed that the body of the Prophet will not be, uh, you know, uh, they will not decay, and the Muslim, they refuse to bury him for the first three days, and then when he stink, and this is all according to Islamic books, it says the word actually, as in stink, Literally, stink. He said, "Itfunu sahibakum, fa innahu yasun kama yasun al-bashar." Bury your friend; he stink the same as all human. They stink. So we have the Messiah, who is living Lord in heaven, and you have the dead Muhammad, the stinky Muhammad, according to your books. Right? Hmm. Let us continue a little bit more because this guy became boring for me. He's boring, isn't he? I mean, he's boring, city he's stupid. We, we, you know, we did get him busted in the first second of the video. The first second. Let us move to where we stopped before. Uh, anyway, he will quote for you. Jesus uh, said, the one who sent me, the one who sent me. My friend, Jesus is saying to them, the man you speak in front of you is sent by the Father. But isn't it Jesus said, the one who saw me, he saw the Father. So shame on you. It's a book. It's not just a word. I can do the same as the Muhammadan do. As an example, I can show you where in the Quran says, don't approach prayer when you, uh, when you are drunk and say, oh, you are allowed to drink and pray. Well, this is Quran I'm showing you. You know, Quran says that, not me. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu, la taqrabu salata wa antum sakara. So can I say, this is what they are doing. They quote a verse play with it try to give it their own interpretation because remember if i am debating a muslim i debate him about his belief not about what i think so if i want to talk about about this verse to a muslim i will not say to him the quran approve you to drink that's not true the quran in this moment was not forbidden for muslim to, to, to drink and muslims they are because muslims who join muhammad in his religion they were a bunch of gang they are sa'alik even the hadith says Sa'arik. Sa'arik in Arabic is not only the outlaw, is the, the trashy gang. You know, like the, 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 the savage gang, the filthy one, who they are refused by their own tribe. The tribe, 
each time any of them he do a crime which is horrible they cast him out of the tribe and they wash his hands their hands from his blood which mean the other tribe they cannot take revenge from this tribe because now he is cast out they cast him out and this is the ones who follow Muhammad Sa'aliq look what Muhammad and look here the Muslim translation they says a group of poor immigrant look at the translation in Arabic it says ya ma'shur sa'aliq faqala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam abshiru ya ma'shur sa'aliq they are sa'aliq if you say to an Arab man you are sa'aliq he will kill you try it right We have a person says tomorrow I got baptized. Praise the Lord. Good for you, my friend. So you are, you left Islam. This is you know very uh, okay. That's wonderful. So as you see, the one who follow Muhammad, they are Saalik, not poor immigrant. They are Saalik. They are outlaw. They are criminals. They are gang. Muhammad himself is a Saaluk. Min Sa'aliq al Arab. He's a caravan rider. He's a thief. He's a killer. Have you ever heard of a god? He made a verse saying it's not Muhammad who stole the panty. The Muslim they say to you, it says panty. Well, the interpretation says they are fighting over a piece of a clothing. Have you ever heard of a god? He make a verse. To defend that the prophet is not the one who stole an underwear. I mean, guys, look at this. We are debating with the Muhammadan about if Jesus is God or not. Do you see the quality? People, Muslims, do you see what we are debating about? When we debate with Muslims, we are debating about a child molester, filthy, criminal. Uh, even the Quran speak about the Muslims accusing him of stealing underwears. When we speak about Jesus, we are debating if he is God or not. That's mean his quality is amazing to the point why a human being would think that Jesus is God? Because he's so good. You see, if Jesus was doing bad stuff here and there, even small ones, we would say there is no way he's God, but he's perfect. When we speak about Allah and Muhammad, we laugh. I mean, look at this God. Anyone notice with me how stupid this verse is? Do you notice what is what is stupid about the verse? Okay, let us say, you see, the Quran says that Jesus he tell he can tell you what you hide in your houses, correct? That's what the Quran says. Ah. <clears throat> <sighs> In chapter 3, verse number 49, it says, Jesus, he can tell you, I can declare to you, I can, and I can declare to you what you eat and what you store in your houses. All right? Surely this is a sign for you to believe. Okay. Jesus can tell you what you hide in your houses and what you did, which means this is the end scene. Chapter 3, verse number 49. The Muslim, they claim this is by the uh, Allah, leave. Allah, he gave him uh, the, the, the option, the power. But that will make him equal to God because he gave him the power to make the blind see. He, he, he gave him the power even to create from the mud the bird. He made him the, the, the power to, to, to make the dead alive. He create, he create. The Quran says that. No. In the same time, when Muhammad was accused of his stealing an underwear, what Allah did? Did he say, okay, guys, this is the guy who took it, go to his house, open the drawer, go to under his pillow, or make, ask him to take off his pants so you can see the panty there? No. Look what he said. No prophet could ever be false to his trust. This is false translation. Change the translator. Let us see a different one. Look at the translation. Guys, it is not for any prophet to take illegally part of the booty, which means they are fighting over theft booty. Do you see the word booty? Do you know what booty is? 
Booty, I attack you. I kill you. I take your TV. I take your bed. I take your shoes. I take your jewelry. I take your phone. I take your watch. That is booty. So now the Muslims are fighting over the booty, accusing their prophet that he stole some of the booty. And Allah, he sent them a verse, says, it is not the prophet who took the booty. Okay, who? Why did not tell us who? Which means this verse confirm that Allah is false and confirm that Muhammad is the one who took the booty. How we knew that? Because if I am God, I should tell them who is the real one who took the booty so I can save the honor of Muhammad from being a thief twice because he's a thief when he took the booty and now he's a thief when he stole from the booty. So shouldn't Allah say, okay, it's not Muhammad who took the booty, it's the guy, maybe his name is a Christian prince, go to his house, check out and you will find, you will find the, 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 the red panty because a Christian prince, you want to make a cartoon about Muhammad. Allah do not know who took the booty. Otherwise, he will say. So this verse confirmed too. Muhammad is a thief and Allah is not God. Otherwise, how come Jesus can tell you what you store in your house is and Allah do not know who is the one who have this booty in his house now? Yeah, you know, a Muslim, he might say to you, it doesn't say he's stolen underwear. Okay, we can go to the interpretation. We can read. Chapter 3, verse number 161. Hmm? It's about a piece of a cloth. It's not a booty, it's not a it's not a, a panty, what is it a bra? Read. This is the Muslim interpretation, not mine. When some red velvet, it's red too. It's not only it's not only a piece of it's red. When uh, uh, some red velvet cloth went missing in the day of Badr, guys, for God's sake, imagine. Those people, they ride a caravan. Why they are fighting over a red fabric, a red piece of a cloth? What kind of people they are? You know what I mean? They are Sa'alik. Look how savage they are. They went to war and now they are missing. There's one panty missing. Who took it? See the savage? And they accuse who? They accuse their prophet. So you can imagine what kind of followers Muhammad he have. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? What kind of followers? Imagine, imagine I accuse Jesus that he stole something. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> is it hilarious? This is how stupid, how garbage this cult is. It is a officially stupid cult. Link? Okay, no problem. I will give you a link. Here we go. Here we go. You can save it. <clears throat> Let us go a little bit with this guy and finish him. You know, I think you can make the video uh, parts, you know, like part, like Jesus uh, forgives sin, answering insane. Uh, Jesus, he resurrects people, answering insane. You can cut it pieces and get, you know, let people watch it from, from, from Indonesia. And I'm so glad a lot of Indonesians are leaving Islam, you know, watching our videos. I'm really happy to see the result, you know. I never thought really uh, I will have a huge impact in a country like Indonesia because I do my videos in English. Uh, you know, I mean, how you can reach out. Most of Indonesians don't speak English, but by the help of many Christians who they are translating my videos, they, they will receive the blessing of the Lord for you are the, really the one who is helping your own people. All right. Uh, let us see what he will say more. Whoever listen to you, listens to me whoever reject you reject me and whoever reject me rejects the, the one 
who sent me. So the whole point is the one who sent me. Okay. I will go with you. We showed you that Jesus says me and the Father is one. We showed you Jesus forgives sin. We showed you that Jesus, he, uh, he, he, he say be, is going to be like walk, he walk, see, he see, come from death, he come from death. Okay. It's all of this is not convincing. But the important for you is the one who sent me. Right? All right. When this person, he called for us a verse. Let us see what the coming verse will say. And love together. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't remember. And you will see right away. We can get him busted again and again and again. Let us see what sent me. Christian Prince, in the four Gospels, Jesus claimed to be sent by God. It means Jesus is the messenger of God, not God. Okay. So let us say that if somebody is sent by God, he cannot be God, for he is the messenger of God. That's wonderful. If we go in the Quran, I will use your logic, by the way. But Jesus, when he say, I was sent by the Father, you forgot your idiot that believe in the Trinity. I mean, you are stupid to the point you forgot that we Christians believe in the Trinity. You see how dumb you are. What you are saying can be making sense if we don't have the Trinity. Because, okay, if we don't have the Trinity, okay, so who is the one who sent Jesus? That is going to be the question. But we believe in the Trinity, you donkey. Sorry to say the word donkey. I, I hope donkeys will not be upset for me. Do you know what the Trinity mean? You keep saying the Father, the Father, the Father. So the Father, he sent the Son. So what we have? We have the Father, we have the Son. You are ignoring that all the Christians believe in the Trinity because you are a false fraud. So why we believe in the Trinity then? People are laughing at you. Shame on you. Did you tell to your people that we believe in the Trinity? You, you did, right? So what the Trinity mean? It means three person. Three person, one God. So when you say the Father, he sent me, still it is the same. Nothing changed. We have the Father, we have the Son. And we have the Holy Spirit. You are stupid. You see how stupid they are? We believe in the Trinity, you idiot. So, God the Father is a person. Jesus the Messiah is a person. The Holy Spirit is a person. So, when we say, when the Bible says, when Jesus says, my Father sent me, so the Father, the person, sent Jesus, the Son, the person. You idiot! See how stupid you are? Same time. I don't know if he is done. Is he done? Christian Prince, don't fool Muslim and Christians. No, I will not fool Muslims. No, I will never fool them. I'm guiding them to the truth. Let me get you busted. You quote for us the last one, you say, this is in Luke, right? Who he hear you, he hear me. And he who he reject you, he reject me. Hmm. And the one who reject me, he reject the one who sent me. Let me get your passage from the Quran. Oops. <sighs> Stupidity is amazing. In chapter 36, verse number 14, speaking about the Messiah sending messengers. The Messiah sending messengers. You can go and open Ibn Kathir, open the interpretation and see that those messengers are the messengers of the Messiah. And you are the one who quote for us that verse. But why you did not quote the rest of the verse? Let us read the verse together so people will laugh at you. You are a fraud, like your prophet. Give me a second. <laughs> All right. 
How many people will laugh at you each time they watch my videos? They will die laughing. And how many Muslims will leave Islam because of you? And again, I will use a translation which you are showing the screen, which me, I don't even accept. All right, I'm using the translation you choose. Just to show everybody that you are nothing but a fraud. You are son of Muta. You know son of Muta? You are son of Muta, temporarily married. And I'm not talking about your mom now. I'm talking about your situation. If we go to Luke chapter 10, we will see what he caught for us. And this is why I'm showing you exactly the translation he showed in the screen. All right. Whoever listened to you, he listened to me. Whoever reject you, reject me. But whoever reject me, he reject the one who sent me. All right. If we go down a little bit, we will find Jesus saying, Read carefully, Abdul. In case you know how to read. <clears throat> but as usual, they don't know how to read, do they? Right? Let us read together. Uh, all things have been committed to me by my father and no one knows who is the son ex is except the father and no one knows who is the father except the son and these who whom the son chose to reveal him did you see jesus claim that nobody knows the Father except Him, and nobody knows the Son except the Father. From the same page, you idiot. That's mean all prophets, all prophets, they heard of God, they received message from God, but they do not know God. How they do not know Him? Which means they didn't meet Him, they never saw Him the way He is. Like when God, he spoke to Moses, he did not see God as he is. And we showed the verse from the Quran. So no one knows the father save the son. And no one knows the son save the father. If you go and read in Matthew 11, it says the following. Let us go to Matthew. For he was quoting from Matthew too. <clears throat> All things are delivered into me of my father, and no man knows the son, but the father neither knows any man the father save the son, and he whomsoever the son he will reveal which is the Holy Spirit. So no one know how is the true God is save the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. No prophet, no David, no Moses, no Muhammad. Muhammad is a fraud anyway. Nobody knows save a three person, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And this is why Jesus is saying to them, if you follow me, I forgive your burden. He forgive their sin. And this liar, he is making stupid things. And always, you know, the Muslim, they quote for you a verse, but they don't want you to read the verses before it and the verses after it. This is why you cannot 
and you should not trust a Muslim saying to you anything. When, when, uh, in the book of John, as long as he's quoting for us, John, if we go now to the book of John, <clears throat> let us go to the book of John. John, I will go to John 14. Look what in John 14 we will find. This is the title, guys. This is the title. He is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. The Lord Cabinet said to Thomas. And you can read and you will see he is saying, I am the way and the truth and the life and no one comes to the father except through me and if you had known me you would know my father as well from now on you do know him and have seen him jesus said nobody saw the father but by seeing jesus you see the father i am the way the Quran is told the names of Jesus. He put it in the Quran. The name of Jesus is the way. The name of Jesus is the truth. The name of Jesus is the life. You go in the you go in the ninety nine names of Allah. He says, "I is the life. He is the resurrector." But isn't it Jesus said, "I am the resurrection." Isn't it Jesus says, "I am the life." Isn't it Jesus says, "I am the Alpha. I am the Omega." Philip said to him, "Lord, show us the Father," and that's it. Philip, he don't understand. He's trying to understand. Okay, this is so seeing you. So is the Father. Can you show us God? Look what Jesus said. He said to him, Philip, I have been with you all this time, and still you do not know me. Anyone has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you know? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? I mean, how clear we can make it more than this. And there's stupid people, they say to you, where Jesus says, I'm God. This, this, he just said to you, a person asking him, okay, show us God. I want to see God. Can you, any of you, Muhammad, and can Muhammad say, the one who see me, he see God, you will say, don't know this blasphemy. So hypocrisy is disgusting. You are a disgusting person. You are fake. You are a fraud. At least if you want to debate the Christians, be honest. Their Bible say clearly, Jesus say clearly that I am God. Because nobody can say, and the Jews, they, why the Jews, they want to kill him? The Bible says it clearly that they want, he made himself equal to God. To God. You are a fraud, my, sir, my, my, my friend. And then if you continue, you say, you know, you will see, this is a very important chapter, by the way, John uh, 14, very important. Everybody should read it carefully. Whoever believe in me, he didn't say believe in God or believe in me. Believe in what? Me. Well, the message of a prophet is not about believing in me, it's believing in God. Correct? A prophet, he don't want people to believe in him, he wants people to believe in God. He's saying the one who believe in me will also do the work that I am doing. He will do even greater things than those who because I am going to the Father and I will do whatever you ask in my name. So that the Father may be glorified in the Son if you ask me for anything in my name, I will do it. Jesus will send you the Holy Spirit. Jesus will send the Holy Spirit to be with us. He will be with us. By what? By the person of the Holy Spirit. If you love me, you keep my commandment. And I will be with you, be with you forever. What? Look what Jesus said. I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate 
to be with you forever. The spirit of the truth, the Muslim, they say this is Muhammad. You see the stupidity? The verse says a spirit. Is Muhammad is a spirit or is a human? Stupidity, I mean, amazing. They are desperate to find a bankrupt religion. The spirit of the truth. That word cannot receive him because it is neither sees him nor knows him. But nor see him. Muhammad was seen or was not. <laughs> but you do know him for he abide with you and you will be he will be within you you will not have any you, you will you will not leave you i will not leave you as orphans i will come to you jesus saying to them i will not leave you alone but jesus if he's a man he can't be with us i am a little while in this world see me no more but you will see me because i live you also will live on that day you will know that I am in my father and you are in me so what does that mean by believing in Jesus that by seeing him you see the father believing in Jesus that he is God in earth by believing in Jesus that he is your Savior you are going to be alive by Jesus the power of Jesus will resurrect you and will make you live forever. So you will be in me and I will be in you. We will be united together. Whoever has my commandment and keep them, the one who I lo who love me, the one who love me will, will be loved by my father. And I love him and reveal myself to him. What is the what is the way to go to heaven? Jesus make it clear to believe in Jesus, to obey Jesus, for the command of Jesus is the command of God Himself, for He is God in this earth. And then Jesus in verse number twenty five says it clearly that the one He will send is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in My name. Even the Holy Spirit is coming in the name of the Messiah. Here you notice how important the person of the Messiah in the Trinity. The, the Father glorify my name. The Holy Spirit is coming in my name. So they quote for you only little words here and there for they are deceivers and then at the end what he will say to us let us see what he will say at the end because the video is almost done let us see we don't want to cut him off so he don't say his opportunity let us go where he will stop him ah there we go if you want to be an honest preacher you should convert to Islam because mm -hmm. there is no true religion except Islam. Okay. In the Quran, Surah Al Imran, verse number 19, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What are you doing with your shoulder? What is there? Do you have a lice like your prophet? Do it again. In the Quran, Surah Al Imran, verse number 19. Uh, he is here. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala degree in in the Islam. It means the religion before God or Allah is Islam. Okay, let me show you how stupid you're Allah then. If the religion for Allah is Islam, so why he call us Nasara and he say we will go to heaven, you idiot? If there is only one religion, it's called Islam. So why he called the Jews Jews? And why he called the Christian Nasara? And why he called the Sabi and Sabi? And yet all of them, they will go to heaven. If all religion is Islam only. You see, your God, if, we, if, if, if you want to say to me that he meant by the Jews, the Muslim Jews, that's stupid because you just called them Jews, you idiot. If you say to me that he meant by the Nasara, the Muslim, that means that he's a stupid, you idiot, because he called them Nasara. He should not call them Nasara then. And not only that, he promised the Sabi and to go to heaven, and the Sabi and they worship stars.
the Sabi and they worship stars. In this stage, Muhammad the liar, he was trying to make anyone accept him. Like Muhammad, between the gay, he's a gay. Between the, he's like Obama. With the atheist, he's an atheist. With the Christian, he holds the Bible. With the Muslim, he, he, he recites Quran. With the Jews, he wears their hat. A fraud. In this stage, he was trying to make all of them just accept me. You Christians, you are Nasara, you will go to heaven, no problem. You are Jews, you will go to heaven, no problem. You are Sabi and worship stars. How in the world even the Sabi and they will go to heaven? Same time, if the religion for Allah is only Islam, so how your stupid God, he keeps saying the, the people of the book? Just to show you the stupidity of this religion. More than 244 times at least the word book mentioned in the Quran. And the Quran keeps saying that we are people of the book. People of the book. Okay. So how the religion for Allah is Islam, but we are the one who get the book, not the Muslims. You know what I mean? If I go right now here and I type the word Ahl al Kitab, Ahl al Kitab, Ahl al Kitab, Ahl al Kitab. I mean, are you stupid or what? People of the book, people of the book, people of the book. So, how we are not going to go to heaven but we are the one who have the book and how you muslim you say our book is corrupted and then your god he says the people of the book if we don't have a book no more stupid because either we have a book and you call us people of the book otherwise you don't call us people of the book if somebody he don't have hair you got you say the guy with the hair if somebody is bald you say the guy with the hair you don't have hair oh people of the book are you Muslim people of the book? You, no. Why? Because you didn't have a book. And the stupid himself in the previous video, if you saw the video we made, just uh, it's, it, it, see it previously, he said that uh, uh, Jesus never read the book. Never read the books, the Gospels. Okay, so why Allah calling us people of the book? And this is 600 years after Jesus. If we don't have a book, you donkey. How Allah called the Christians in the time of Muhammad, people of the book. Stupidity is amazing. Isn't it? My friends, Islam is a joke. And Muhammad is a fraud and Allah is a sex toy in the hand of Muhammad he is not even qualified to be anything except a sex toy Muhammad he used him Muhammad uh, you know uh, the word Allah is a puppet for Muhammad anything Muhammad he want to force people to do he say Allah said to me he want women to give their vagina to him he says Allah says any woman she want to give her private part to me Muhammad he want to take the fifth of the booty he says Allah says take the fifth of the booty Muhammad, he says, his wife are not obedient to him. They are making a revolution. He says, Allah told me I will exchange you. To stop anyone from opposing him, right away he make a verse coming from Allah, saying, Allah says this to me. Which means Muhammad, he used the term Allah to subdue and to conquer. It's the same as any false priest, like there's some false priests. They can be Christians too. Hmm? They use the name of God to take money from you, to forgive your sin. They claim that they can forgive sin. Those are fraud. Those are the Christians. Because well, the Bible is so clear. Uh, they will never, I promise you heaven. Those are the same as Al Khomeini. They are like Muhammad. Those frauds are always exist. 
those who use the name of God to control the crowd always are exist. Muhammad is not the first of fraud who exists to do that. This is why Muhammad, you know, there is there is a video made by a Muslim. He says, well, you know, uh, uh, in, in the Dean show, they were saying, uh, I wish I can play it. You will die laughing. He says, uh, the host, he said to him, there is some people they claim that Muhammad is a false prophet. So how we can answer that? He said, okay, let us look at this. False person usually he make or claim to be a prophet by uh, we can decide if he's a false prophet by certain criteria. And now he said, if he claimed that he is a prophet other from a god other than Allah, he cannot be a prophet. Look at this stupidity. Okay, I can claim now I'm prophet from Allah, so I fit. And then he says, if the prophet he asks for his own benefit, obviously he is not a prophet. Look at this guy. He said the prophet was poor. Even he gave his, uh, you know, he gave his weapon to the Jew next door because he have no money. What what door? Muhammad he killed all the Jews. Muhammad was taking fifth of the booty, and Muhammad don't have money to eat. Muhammad have had thirteen wives and thirteen houses, according to Muslims. And the guy he don't have money. If a guy he has 13 wives and he have no money, where the money is coming from? Imagine guys, now you have 13 wives, you have to be a millionaire. 13 wives. And each one of them, she had tons of slaves. So not only you have to feed the wives, you have to feed their servants. How many slaves Aisha she have? How many slaves Hafsa she have? How many slaves Sauda she have? All of them, they have slaves. And Muhammad was very poor. We just showed you that Muhammad is stolen underwear. So the idea of Islam as a cult is just to fool people, make them believe in something is not exist. And now the Muslims, they became slaves of Muhammad. He is their God. You see, in Islam, if you insult Allah, they will give you three days to repent if you insult Muhammad now. He's more important than Allah. If you say Muhammad is a black, he will be killed. You believe it? One of the rules of Islam, Man qala anna nabiyya aswad uqtulu, the one who says the prophet is a black, kill him. Just say Muhammad is black because Muhammad is not a black. And the hadith is full of stories about how white he is muslims they are even making like it's like it's like a horny nation going crazy do you see prophet do you see the the the, the white under the prophet under arm do you see the white shin of the prophet do you see the, sh the the white hand of the prophet? There is a there is a video actually about the prophet how he looked like. If you, I wish I can play it by by Mufti Munk. Mufti Munk he says, and then the guy he saw the prophet. It was the middle of the night, and they look at the moon and look at the prophet. He look at the moon and look at the prophet. He look at the moon. He look at the prophet. He look at the moon and the guy is like crazy. He look at the moon and he look at the prophet. You look at the moon and you look at the prophet. Okay, that much they, they worship him. All of this to say to you that Muhammad is whiter than the moon in the darkness of night. We Christian we worship Jesus, he is our God. We don't talk about his face, we don't talk about him being white. He's God. For all mankind, white, black, Asian, who care? Muhammad, the white man, is so important. He is white. Even the black stone was sent by Allah, was white like milk, and the sin made it black. Do you know what does that mean?
That means same, make you black. Otherwise, I, I change the name Muslim to tell me how, how it was white and same, make it black. You know what I mean? How sin, the sin of mankind made it black. So the effect of sin make you what? The effect of sin in the cult of Islam, in the garbage of Muhammad will make you black. Will not make you red, will not make you yellow, will make you black. For this is a very filthy racist cult. You commit sin, you turn into black. You are good, you are white, according to Allah. Actually, there's a hadith from a Turmudi where it says that Allah, when He created Adam children, He created him, the created the white people from the right shoulder of Adam. I don't know if anyone of the admins he have the link, he can post it for you. And then he he created them white, like white ants, and he said to them, "You go to heaven, and I don't care." And then he created the black people from the left shoulder of Adam and he says, you go to hell and I don't care. How this can be from God? Right? How this can be from God? You ask yourself. Do we have any Muslim have any comment? Well, I think the video is getting so long now. We better stop. And I will try to come again maybe later at night or maybe tomorrow morning. I want to say thank you guys for being here. And uh, uh, we pray that the Muslims will see the truth and the truth will set them free. Islam is a satanic religion. There's no question about that. Killing people will not take you to heaven. Killing people will send you to hell. The man who promised you heaven, if you kill somebody, he cannot be from God. Shedding blood is a big sin against God. If somebody is in war with you, I understand. But as you see, Muhammad is shedding blood left and right. For people, even they never fought him. Using violence against your wife is a sin. It's a bad behavior. It's disgusting. That's not from God. There's no way that God will advise me to beat my wife to make her obey me. If my wife, she will not obey me, willingly there's no beating can make her obey me she can cheat in my back she's a human being she is not a donkey it's a shame it's a shame to bring a donkey teaching putting it as a word of god and say this is what god says beat your wife this is not god my friend god he created the women the same as he created the man he is not higher than her and she is not less than him. If not your mother and my mother, you will not be exist. So if women are just useless, there's no need for them and they are there just to have babies, then why you love your mother? And now why your mother, she is willing to die for your sake, to save you? Do you know why? Because the mother, the women, she have a gift from God. The man even don't have it. God, he put his secret inside the women, in her heart. So she is a very loving creature created by God, have a special feeling. When you are sick, your father will be snoring and your mother, she will be holding you, crying next to you. You die. Your father will forget about you maybe a few days after. Your mother, she will never forget the pain she has in her heart. How in the world we say, beat them? How in the world I will allow anyone, even my father, to beat my mother? How you can stand such an evil teaching? Imagine you are a growing man. And you see somebody is beating your mother. How does it feel? And what is the purpose? Evil. To obey a man. Because this is evil. You don't make right by evil. 
I saw once a video of Mimi Hijab. He was trying to explain why beating women. He said, "What if your wife she is uh, hurting your child? She want to kill him." Said, look, look at look at look at the fraud. The Quran is not talking about that. You liar! What about if a man he's hurting the child? Can the women beat him too? You see that? You see the stupidity? They are desperate. They fabricate reasoning, which is stupid. Is more stupid than the crime itself. It says if you fear their rebellion, fear rebellion. Where it says that they are beating your children. What is that to me? Cowards, thieves, liars, all those who fabricate the words of their own religion. No dignity. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> I posted about the missing red velvet in okay channel. I don't know, but anyway, this guy. You see, I I, I would be happy to call him. By the way, I would be happy to talk to him. But as you see, all of them they avoid me. They make videos about me. They challenge me, but nobody dare to 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 speak to me. The only one who speak to me is those who don't have name, career to lose, like ultimate fault. He's just a kid. You ask him a question, he give you any answer you wish. That's it. You know, he's a god. He's God himself. This ultimate for so the real one who have career to lose, they will never get close to me because they knew that such a debate is is going to be hilarious, and people will laugh at them forever. Their business will shut down. Itona, I don't know. Like you see, I'm speaking for long. Uh, tomorrow we will make. Uh, are you are you a Muslim, Etona? Are you a Muslim? Because in this channel we take only calls from Muslims, you know, and we are here for long. I mean, people they still they want to download the video. I think it's enough for today to finish, and uh, maybe tomorrow we open calls for people to call. Uh, Remember always when somebody he bring to you forget about you being okay you are maybe you are not a Christian maybe you are maybe you are an atheist whatever you are Buddha anyone he teach you violent stay away from him anyone teach you hate stay away from him and that is Islam Islam is religion of hate to the point even the Quran says it clearly as an example chapter 5 verse 14 that Allah he target the Christian to spread hatred between them why such a behavior can be exist from someone he claimed to be God he want to spread hate between the Christian is that going to make the Christian better no but what that will do will make us hateful why does God he want us to be hateful this is the plan of God to make us evil yes brother for he is evil the one who make you evil is the one who is evil and sponsor evil in this earth. Right? He says he wants to prove that you are lying. He is asking what time to call tomorrow. Tomorrow I will go live maybe in the same time today or maybe earlier. He can call me tomorrow. All right? You know what? I will make an exception. Let him call me now. What is his name? Itona? Etona, as long as he's here, he might not sleep well. <clears throat> what the name of the guy? So I'll be sure I will take him only in that other person. <clears throat> what is his name in Skype? Even though I'm, I'm like tired from talking, but it's okay. What his name? <clears throat> give me his name please so I will take only call from this person you are talking about
Yeah, give me, give me the name because there's many people call me. You see, I have like, th th like, do you know what kind of? Uh, uh, his name is Ismail Fahim. Is that the one? Is that the one? Let us see, Ismail Fahim. Hello. Uh, hello. Yes. Yes. Uh, well. Uh... Honestly, you, 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 you are to first, talk, first of all, okay, please, first, please, 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 hold, hold on, hold on, so hold on, 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 hold on. Is are you the one who uh, Etona said you wanted to call me? Are you the same person? Yes, yes, yes. All yeah. right. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm with her right now. I'm with her right now. Okay. Uh, go ahead, so please. Make, you, make your speech clear. Okay. Go ahead. What do you want to say? All right. Uh, as I said, I had comments that I wanted to make on Hadi things that you said before. Okay. And those that added today. But I'm going to, to start with what you said before. Uh, right. You showed me a, a hadith that you showed, mm. uh, saying that like Allah is going to take hookahs and skillful women from from uh, the hell and give them to, to the... Can you please uh, look for that hadith now yeah, that sure. you are here? Yeah, but this is not... Just look for this it. is not... This is a hadith not, we did not mention today. This is from different day, right? No, no. No, no, no. I just want you to open the hadith. And the Arabic version, we read it, me and you. Right yeah, yeah, now. I know, I know. But uh, you are talking about a hadith I did not mention today. This is previously, correct? On different days. So you want, uh, okay, so that, that was the first thing, because I wanted us to talk about that one first, and then we come to what you say today, because that one is the main reason that I decided that I want to speak with you. Okay. Because she's here telling me okay. this, and that I told her that... Uh, Okay, speak, saying, speak, my friend. You are, that, uh, my friend, uh, my friend, you are nervous. Can you, can you speak easy so I can understand you? Please don't be nervous. Easy, my, easy. My God, if you could see myself now, you see that I am so calm right now. Okay, but you are speaking, too, so you are speaking too fast. I'm not sure no. why. So if you want to talk to me, you have the time. Don't worry, we will have time with you. So tell me, okay. Right. So, so quote for me the hadith right. you are so mentioning. What about the hadith? Quote the hadith for me. Okay, the hadith is the one that you say that like will take women... Uh, inheritance from the people of of of, no, of hell read the hadith for me in arabic you so, said you, you said you know the hadith in arabic you, you said you speak arabic correct read it no, for me i say one I, I want us to read it now like in front of everybody just no problem on the screen. okay my friend so you said you said you, you said we want to read it in arabic me and you so you speak arabic read the hadith for me no just open it i don't want to i want i want us to open it but you so say I to me it. my friend i will open it no problem i will open it i'm asking you you say it so we can read it in arabic you and me so you claim that you know arabic read the hadith for me yes i will read i will read it just open it okay no problem open, uh, open it so i will know for sure which one you are talking about because there's many about your prophet when i give vaginas okay. and etc which one okay the one the one the one that let me, let me just look for 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 it <clears throat> the one that was that uh, all right just give me a second just give me a second hmm. if you do not know if you give this up one, if you don't if you don't Thank know you very much yeah which huh? one which one no it's not this one it's not this one it's not this one no no read it for me read it for me not this one it is not this one which one uh the one that was saying uh Look for it. Ma min ahadin yadhulu aljanna yadhulu Allah aljanna illa the wajaku Allah that one. Now you know which one. Read, 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 read in Arabic. Read in Arabic. Right. Yeah. Ma min ahadin yadhulu Allah aljanna illa the wajaku Allah purun wa that one. Now you know it. No, read, read, read in Arabic again. Why you stop? Why you stop? Because your Arabic is funny. Is that Arabic? ما من أحد يدخله الله الجنة إلا زوجه الله عز وجل إثنتين وسبعين زوجة. Okay, now what what you want what you want to say? Go ahead. Let me let me ask give it to tell you how 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 this thing I cannot even just open it. Yes. Okay, what what do you want to say? Okay, what do you want to say? So you you are saying here that like it's going to take to take skillful women who cast from hellfire. Can you now please? Okay. Yeah, can you just read this one? Qala Hisham ibn Khalid. Can you just read from that part? Because I cannot see from the bottom. Can you read that interpret? No, 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 not that side. The okay. Arabic part. Please. Okay, the Arabic part. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, yes, please. Okay. Arabic part, please. Okay. Uh, can you show? Can you can you show it, please? We are showing it. Go I ahead. See on my... Read, read. Go ahead. 
I cannot so much I only see the English part. I My friend, it takes time uh, to arrive to you. Just, yes. read, just read from your side. Don't waste your time. That, that you have the verse there in Arabic. I have it in Arabic. It takes time to appear for you. Go ahead. Yes, yes. Okay. So it says, Qala Isham ibn Khalid. I cannot see the other side, but I will just read from what I see. Miratu hmm. min uh, ahli nar yani rijalan dakhalu nara fawarita ahlu aljanna nisa'ahum kama wuritha mra'atu fir'aun. Can you can you translate that for 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 for, for us like or should you, I translate you, it for you? You translate, you translate, you translate exactly. and tell us who is Hisham ibn Khalid. Is that Rasulullah? His name is Hisham ibn Khalid. Huh? Who is Hisham ibn Khalid? He is he, is he Rasulullah? He is the messenger of Allah. Hisham. Is, is he? Is he Okay, okay. Go, go at the top. Go at the top of the of the, of the hadith. Is he not? My friend, my friend, my friend. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I'm asking you. Who is Hisham ibn Khalid? You mentioned that Hisham ibn Khalid. He is. He he okay. said this. Okay. So the one who is making. Okay. This is opinion of Hisham ibn Khalid. This is not your prophet said. Correct. So this is not part of the hadith. This is why. This is why it is not in black. Correct. It's not in black because this is not part of the hadith. Do you agree? It's his interpretation. No but problem. Also My friend. Okay, guys, guys, guys. Hisham, he yes. have interpretation. Okay, tell us the interpretation of Hisham. Don't waste my time. Go ahead. No, wait, wait. Go, go. Uh, look at who, who narrated the hadith. Hadatha my friend, my friend. Don't waste my time. Okay, the one who narrated the hadith is Hisham. Okay, the one who narrated the hadith is Hisham. No problem. But you uh, give me yes. the interpretation. Go ahead. What did he say? Okay. He say. Right. Hmm. say that mirath. Inheritance mm. in Ahli, uh, from the people of Hellfire, mm. Yani mm. means Rijalan men who entered the, the Hellfire, but the Ahlul Jannah and the people of, of the Jannah will inherit from their women Nisa'uhum Kama Wurita Amratu Firan. Okay, their women translate the, the, as example. Translate, 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 translate what you said in Arabic. Go ahead. My friend, you are not translating. You are still reading Arabic. Translate in English. We got it. You said that already in Arabic. Translate. Go ahead. Hisham, Hisham ibn Khalid say, the inheritance of the people of Hellfire means men, men who entered the Hellfire and the Ahle, the people of the Jannah will inherit their women, those who wanted Jannah. Mm. Example of Marat of Firaun, the, 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 the wife of Firaun. Okay. In Islam, we know that uh, the, the wife of, 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 of Firaun mm. under Jannah. But you, your interpretation said that hookahs, people, uh, like, uh, women from the hellfire, well, it's not, the, the word said people of the inheritance. You cannot just say inheritance from mm. people of hell. Okay. Say that, that it means that hookahs. Let me ask. What, what, what the meaning of okay. the inheritance? Okay. Are you, so, are you, you done? Say about that? Are you done? Yes. Okay. Let us, let, us, let us read the hadith uh, again and thank you for calling me and people will start laughing in a second. Because look what your, what, yes, what your yes. prophet is saying. Hold on. Go ahead. Go look, ahead. look what your prophet is saying. Go ahead. You say that uh, Allah will marry him to 72 wives, mm -hmm. two from the Huris and 70 from his inheritance yes. from the people of yes. hell. Okay. So those people... No, oh, oh, the people from the inher inheritance... Yes, inheritance. correct. Yes, okay, but what, what they are from where? They are from hell. People, so what, my, if my friend, people, what those, do you, what those you, inheritance. Can I, can I, okay, my friend, the inheritance located where? Yeah, from the people. It doesn't say no, 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 no. Okay, but from the inheritance is coming from where? It's from hell, from people of hell. People of hell. Yeah. Okay, now. The inheritance, not the people. Okay, inheritance. so you are saying that in, the inheritance is not in hell. Okay, hold on. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. The inheritance is not in hell. Okay, why those men are in hell and their women are not in hell? And how come Allah will give you only from those women, only the women who have nice breasts and nice vagina? What about the rest? In the topic, and let not forget. We are not. We are not. No, no, no. We are not. We are not. You see, Allah is selecting a special kind of women. Correct. We have to agree with that. Me and you. So look, look, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Allah will take, Allah will give you women. What kind of women? They have nice okay. breast and nice vagina. Wonderful. Okay. Why Allah? Okay. It says that, it says, it says desirable of front passages. It says desirable of front passages. Let us look at this in the, in the simpler way. 
Why is it that it's like inheritance from the people fell for what what made you say that Abu Kas number one? Because he's talking about he's not talking about how decent ah. they are. Let us say he's not talking about how decent they are, he's not talking about how, how, how good they are, how much they pray. He's talking so, about only one thing. Hold on. What kind of God? It's what, what is the quality, my friend? What is the quality of this woman? Can you tell me? What is the quality of this woman? What is the quality your God of this woman described? What he, what he, how he described them? You, you think, you, you think that there is no Muslim woman or other like who, who have a desirable front person? Is that what you think? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I will go with you, guys. He's saying that Allah He will not give all those good women who they have. Uh, 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 breast, Allah will choose only the one who have nice breast and nice vagina, and He will give it to the Muslim. That's what you just said. So He just said to me, "Do you think? Hold on, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk. We can't talk in the same time. Don't talk. We don't. We can't talk in the same time, my friend. I will give you time. Hold on. Everybody heard you. You just said. Do you think? You said to me. Do you think? Please don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. Let me finish. I will give you time. Please come on. You said. Do you think that all the, uh, the women they don't have nice breast and nice vagina and that all Muslim women they don't have any? Okay, I will go with you. So Allah is saying some women who they are Muslims who have nice breast and nice vagina, Allah will take them and give them to you. Wonderful. You are genius. That's not what I said. That is not what I said. You said that. that. Is not what I said. You said you I asked you the point. Okay, say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. No, 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 no. You, you said, you said, no, you said, you said you don't, you don't think that Muslim women they have nice, nice uh, uh, past prejudices. My friend, my friend. Okay, Allah will give you women. What is the qualification? I ask you. Let us repeat again from zero. I said to you, what is the qualification of the women? It is they have desirable front passages, which is their breast and their vagina. Wonderful. Now, who Allah will choose for you? Women who have nice breast and nice vagina. Wonderful. Now. Your answer, go ahead. Uh, what? Excuse me? What? what excuse me? When I give you time to talk, you don't want to talk. When I start talking, you start talking. Please listen to me carefully. No, I ask. Please listen, listen. What was the question? Listen. Yes. What Allah will give you will give you women who have nice breast and nice vagina. Wonderful. From who, according to you, you are saying those are women who their husbands they went to hell, correct? Yes. Okay. And those women, on those women, okay, and those women. Uh, 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 are, uh, uh, oh, hold on, we can't talk at the same time, my friend. Just easy, easy. And those women are they Muslims? Are they Muslims? Are they Muslims? Those women are those women Muslims? Which which women? The women which Allah will give you. Obviously, they obviously they are because Murat the example is Muslim. She is a Muslim. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, Allah will promise you to have women who have nice breast in heaven and he will choose only from those women who have nice breast and nice vagina but shouldn't all muslim women go to heaven anyway uh, huh uh, okay i'm asking you what, what, listen focus focus don't be nervous if allah will take no. all muslim women in heaven anyway is if i if i ask you do muslim women will go to heaven anyway Yes. Okay, so why Allah is saying only those who have a front passages will be given to you? What do you mean? What do you mean that? that Here we go. He don't know. He don't know what I mean. You are the one who said that those are Muslim women. They are not hookers. Hold on. You are the one who said. Don't talk in the same time. You ask me a question. Let me answer you. Don't, Abdul. Abdul. Don't force me. Don't force me. Don't force me to hang up on you. We cannot talk in the same time. Be be civil. Don't be a donkey. I will give you time. Please. You see, yes, I'm I speaking for three. I'm speaking for three hours. I'm speaking for three hours. Please be nice, so we can talk. I will give you the mic. Uh, let us make an agreement. When I say to you, talk. You talk until you finish. And when I, uh, when you are done, I will take the microphone. We cannot talk in the same time. My question very simple. I said to you, do Muslim women go to heaven? You said yes. Okay. Allah is saying that will give you in heaven women who have nice breast and nice vagina what will happen to the rest of the women who they are going to go to heaven anyway all right thank you very much for the question okay, go ahead. before i take I, I answer the question i'm going to say this the whole point of this is that you made this sound like 
Muslims are going to get hookahs from hell. Why? The hadith itself says that a, a, a woman went to, to Jannah and their, their, their husband went to the hellfire. So now, coming to the question, so now we are clear on that point, on the fact that the hadith does not speak of any hookahs, does not speak of all, any woman from the hellfire, hmm. but speaks about those women whose husband went to the hellfire and they gave, they gave the example of Bar'at Firaun. This is, uh, that's, that's number one. Number two, the hadith, as you say, that it, it's a... Uh, uh, it says that it's going to get uh, to, uh, how, how many? Uh, 72 wives. Yes, that's what it says. So this hadith in, on, in, on, on its own, on its own, it's not hadith that can be used to make a statement because as it said, it's hadith da'if. And in Islam, we do not use a da'if hadith to, uh, as a standalone hadith. Mm. That's, that's, no one will ever practice that. You cannot use a da'if hadith to mm. make a standpoint or a point. You will have hadith that say something, and there is a lot of hadith that corroborate that. So mm. me telling that ah this or that, like, it, it can't because as a Muslim, I know that you do not use lot of hadith to make a standpoint. You see, until so now, right now, I give you the time. Listen, I give I give you the time to answer me. Until now, you you speak about everything except the question. I just said to you. And by the way, the if is accepted. I can, I can you get you busted. Don't you Muslims? You say to us that the, the prophet he made the prophet he made the last sermon. Uh, the prophet he made the last sermon, but but the last sermon is not exist in any Sahih Hadith. Is is the last sermon of Muhammad is exist in the Sahih Hadith? No. So you Muslims, you are you pick up your cherry. You say you say you like. You say what you like. What you like. You say you refuse. What you refuse. Now listen. I'm asking you now. Let me repeat my question again. Then don't play games. I say to you, if all Muslim women they will go to heaven anyway, why Allah promising yes. you? Why Allah promising you that those women they will go to heaven with nice breasts and nice vagina? Why he is yes. selecting someone just because she have nice breasts and nice vagina? He did not say because they have good belief. He did not say because they have good a good manner. He did not say because they pray to Allah. He said he mentioned just how sexy they are so your god is electing specific kind of women in a sexual way this is why your prophet he mentioned the following that your penis will never go limp and will never go sleep correct so this is about penis and vagina right. and right. breast okay right. so so what allah he want allah he promise you specific women and what is good about them which is refuting all what you said that those are Muslim women, etc. Because if they are Muslim women, they will go to heaven anyway. No, those are people from hell. You know, if you give me, if you give me interpretation of somebody, he was not even seeing Muhammad Hisham. He never met Muhammad. Who's Hisham? Who's this guy Hisham? Did you meet? Did you meet Muhammad? No, no. But you see, how? Okay, if I give you, okay, if I give you right now, hold on. I will do. I will do what you do. I will do what you do. If I give you an interpretation uh, for the Quran by your scholar, do you, do you promise me to accept it? No. Why? No, Why no? I do not promise you to accept it. Why no? It's Why no? It's just in, this is interpretation. So, this is this is a scholar giving interpretation. Okay. So okay, interpretation so, of a scholar versus interpretation of the scholar. How come this is this one you accept and the other one you don't accept him? Secondly. I will go with you, even if they are not hookers. Okay, hold on, guys. If if those women are hold on, please, I want you to answer me. If those women are not hookers, Allah He made them hooker in the moment because what uh, what they are made for? They are made for penis. Why Allah bring them over to heaven? He made them. He made them as a gift for Mr. Penis, Mr. Bean. So Allah He will bring you women to do what? To use your penis with them. So they are hookers because those women are you never met. Those women you never love, those women you never have, you don't even know their names. They are coming only for sexual intercourse. Do you agree? That's what the hadith is saying. Go ahead. No, I do not agree. I why? Do not why? Agree why? Does it say that? Hadith is saying. And by the way, I'm not here. We are not, we are not making a comparison between true Sahih uh, interpretation. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm asking you. Okay. Did Allah? Did Allah promise you? See, you are avoiding my my question. You are avoiding my question. Does the Hadith promise no. sexual intercourse with those women? And this is the only thing the Hadith is mentioning. Yes or no? Let's uh, let's let's stick it to the point. The, the this is the point. This is the point. You are trying to prove that they are not hookers. You are trying to prove that they are not hooker, right? You are calling me to prove they are not hooker. If God He bring you those women just for sex, are they hooker or not? 
Look, I don't care what you think. You. I am not thinking. I am not thinking. You see, now you have no answer. So you start, I don't care what you think. You are in trouble. It says in the front of you, Allah will bring them for what? Bring them for sex. Abdul, Abdul. No, this is not my explanation. It's in the front of your eyes. It's in the front of your eyes. It says, it says, okay. My friend, my friend, the hadith, the hadith mentioned too. Did he, did he mention their prayer? You are a coward. You will not answer. You are trying to avoid. And look, guys, look what happened. Look what happened. He just agreed that he have a God, he will elect women because they have big boobs and nice vagina and he will send them to heaven so they can have, the Muslim can have sex with them. Your God, Allah is a pimp. The mic is yours. I'm listening, go ahead. Man, you call people, so you call many people potatoes, but right now you are a rotten potato. Well, let us see who is the potato. Your God is Allah. And you see, I, 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 I made an accusation. I want you to answer me. Allah is a pimp because the one who promised me women with nice breast and nice vagina is pimp. He, those women I never met, I don't know, I never saw them, they are not even my wives. And you are the one who said, everybody heard you, that Allah will import women who they are inheritance of somebody else as if they are property. Do you inherit women? Do you Muslim inherit women? There are other points actually. No, no, this is the point. Do you Muslim inherit women? Do you Muslim inherit women? You, 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 just to show you how stupid what you said, you just admitted that your prophet, he promised you women as a property. You are going to inherit them. Who's trying to avoid to avoid agreeing that the hadith does not speak of hookers? It says about hookers because okay, what 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 do you want from those women? Hold on, hold on. What do you want from those women? Their breast and their vagina. They are hookers. Do you see the word love? Do you see the word love? Do you, do you see the word love? Do you see the word love? Do you see even anything about decency? The only thing those women they are good with is their vagina and their breasts. And you admitted that. So your God is a promise me two things. Penis, breast, and vagina. Your God is a sexual God predator. What makes you say that the only thing that they have good is uh, those two things, the breast and the other part? Because the hadith says so. The hadith says so. Okay, show me what the hadith says, guys. Do you see anything in the hadith? Hold on, hold on. You see, everybody will laugh at you. We cannot talk in the same time, please. Can you show me in the hadith okay. anything mentioned in the about those women except their breast and their vagina? Do you see anything? No, I do not see any other. Okay, so why you are saying to me? Why you, why, so why you are saying to me? Well, why you are mentioning only the breast and the vagina? The hadith says so. He did not mention anything else. So this is what those women are good about. Your God, Allah. You see, those women are not hooker. The hooker is your God, because if your God have dignity, He will not promise you women from all the women. The only one who have okay. Let, let us let, Abdul. Abdul, listen, listen, listen. Okay, give me, give me two minutes. Can you, can you give, can you, can you give me two minutes? Can you give me? Can you give me two minutes? Uh, uh, two minutes uh, for to, to study well. Or? Yeah, no, to study. I will learn from you. You are your you Majesty. You are the genius. So your God will 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 line up women in the front of him. Hold on, let me talk. Allah will line up okay. women in the front of him. Let us do this. So now we have. Uh, 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 let us say. Uh, let me let me let me show you this. Okay. So your God Allah is going to line up a bunch of women in the front of him. And those women, Allah will choose from them women who have nice breast and nice vagina. And hold on, let me, let me talk. 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 The hadith says from the people of hellfire, the inheritors of hellfire, they inherit people. You see the word inheritance? You inherit, your inheritance yes. goes with you. Now listen, listen carefully. So Allah will line up in the front of us a bunch of women. And then Allah, he will say the following. Let us put a bunch of women in the front of us on the screen. All right. So Allah will do, for sure we are not trying to insult any of those women in the pictures there. It's just to give you an example. So your God Allah, hold on, hold on. Your God Allah, your God Allah, he will say to those women, okay, every one of you take off her clothes. And you, you have nice boobs. You go to Muslim. You have a small boobs. You don't go to Muslim. You have, you don't have a nice a boob. You go, you don't go to Muslim. You have small boobs. You don't go to Muslim. You have a small boobs. You go to Muslim. You don't go to Muslim. You have very small boobs. You will not go to Muslims. You have very big boobs. You will go to Muslims. You have medium boobs. I don't like you. Don't go to Muslims. You have big boobs. I will send you to Muslims. You have a small boobs. I will not send you to Muslims. This is what the hadith is saying. If this is not a pimp, who is the pimp? 
it's not. It is not what the hadith is saying. The hadith says that okay, does it say does it say you are a coward, everybody is laughing at you, and you admitted in the beginning, you admitted in the beginning that Allah elect women who they have nice breasts and nice vagina, and you are not opposing that, you are opposing the idea that they are from hell and they are hookers. I did not please, 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 please do not say what I admitted and what I did not admit. Did not say that. You did. You did. You did. You did. You said those women. Until now, you did not oppose. No. Until now, you did not oppose anything I said, except that they are hookers trying to prove to me that they are not hookers. This is the whole point of your call. So you agree that they have nice breasts. You agree they have nice vagina. And Allah, He lined them up together. Okay. Those are the inheritance of men. They, those are the inheritance of men who go to hell according to you. And they are Muslims. And now Allah will filter them and He will select the women who have big boobs and He will give it to the Muslims. Okay. I was asking you now. The small one, the one have a small boobs. What Allah will do with them? So wait, wait. You, you, you need to be very smart in this question. Because uh, you know, you are the smart. I'm asking you. No, I'm asking you. Please answer the question. What Allah will do with the women who did not select because they have big boobs? What Allah will do with them? No, oh, the hadith say desirable front passages. What do you mean? What do you mean by desirable? Big? Is that what you think desirable is? Oh, you tell me. No, guys. Okay, let us see what it means. Guys, let us say. Let us see what it means. Okay, what desirable front passages mean? Okay, so something that you desire from them, maybe. What is that? What is that? No, you know, no, no, you are the genius. Don't tell me maybe. Don't tell me. Hey, listen, listen. Don't don't go by maybe. I want you to tell me what he meant by desirable front passages. What? You spoke. You spoke. I let you speak. Let me speak now. Go ahead. Let me speak because mm. you spoke. Mm. What my, what I'm saying? Mm. Hadith does not speak of sizes. It speaks of desirable front passages. Okay, hold on. Let us see. Okay, let us see. No. Let us see what the Zerubbabel front passages is. Isn't it your no. prophet? Isn't it your Quran in the Quran? Hold on, hold on. Isn't it your Quran says that Allah will give you women? Hold on, let me get you busted. Isn't it your God? You did lie? You did lie? Everybody will be laughing at you. Hold on. Isn't it your Quran? Shut up. Shut up a second. Is that your Quran or this is my, my Bible? It says here in chapter 78, verse number 33, Allah will give you women with big boobs. Okay, the, 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 read, the, read the English translation. Read, read the English translation, please. Read the English translation. Read the English translation. Read the English translation. Read the English translation. The verse, the verse, the verse, it says, Allah will give you women with big boobs. Okay, read the next verse. What did the next verse say? Doesn't matter. The next the next verse, Allah will give you with the wine. Here we go. We have a bar. So we have a bar. We have a we have a bar. We have a bar. Hold on. We have a bar. We have a bar and we have women with big boobs. And you lie you to us. He says, Do you think Allah is speaking about big boobs? Yes, he's speaking about big boobs. And the verse in the front of you read it. No, are this yes and in this hadith. We're talking about a woman with equal age. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you, you just confirm the Quran, shut up. The Quran, you just confirm, you agree the Quran says Allah will give you women with big boobs. And now you don't want to accept the Quran teaching. You are saying, I want to follow the Hadith. And the Hadith according to you doesn't say that. You are a liar. Because the Hadith says desirable front passages. And what is desirable for Allah? Obviously big boobs. You see, here is they spoke about voluptuous women with equal of equal age. Mm. Is that the the, the, the what's that we talked about in the hadith? We mm. spoke about people who in, were in heaven. Women doesn't matter. Those all people. they will be in heaven. Allah will make them. Hold on. Those are women in heaven. Don't don't oh, hold on. Hold on. Those are women. Those women they will be in heaven, and this is how they will will. So Allah confirmed the size of the breast of the women they will be in heaven. All of them, they must have a huge boobs. And now, listen, you just, you just, you, you, you are in the corner. Everybody is dying, laughing at you in the chat. You just admit it. You, you refuse to accept that this is about big boobs. But the Quran says that. And now you admit. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Why Allah? Why Allah promised you we cannot talk in the same time, Abdul? Abdul, 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 okay, why Allah, okay, why Allah saying women in heaven, they will have big boobs, give us an answer, what do you mean big boobs, it's in the front of you, it's in the front of you, it says Allah will give you women with bigger breasts, it's in the front of you, don't tell me what do you mean, I'm asking you, why Allah, he promised you big boobs, go ahead, why Allah promised uh, to, to give big, big boobs? Yeah, women with big boobs. Why? 
What do you mean? Why Allah gives 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 rewards to to to, to people? It's okay. To so, his servants. but you say, still, uh, still you cannot answer. Still you cannot answer. Still you cannot answer. Why Allah is it choosing women with big boobs? What about small boobs? What about medium boobs? Why Allah chose big boobs to give you in the heaven? Don't tell me. Don't say why. I don't know why. I'm asking you why Allah chose women with big boobs out of all the women. There's women. They have a small breast. What's wrong with them? They are still beautiful. So why Allah? He won't only allow only big boobs in heaven. Go ahead. What say that it's the only woman that will be in heaven? Well, show me where. Okay, show me in the Quran a verse says small boobs will Allah be allowed. Here we go. That when Allah He mentioned only women with big boobs will be there. Why you are saying there will be women with small boobs? Show me. And this, you see, you see what you do. Show you what Allah, Allah said, desirable women. Yeah, he, he, he said. No, He women. described their size. You are the one who forced me to go to the verse because the Hadith said desirable front passages, and right away He mentioned oh. after them. Hold on, He mentioned something very sexual to make it clear. Did He mention the Did He mention the penis of the man? Did He mention the penis of the man? Yes or no? Bravo, very good. Okay. Very good. Mm. Right now, you, you go to the point. Mm -hmm. What uh, what is being said here? Is it the same thing that was said in in the hadith? Is it? Yes. Please? Yes, in the hadith, it oh, says, oh, oh. You are so you stupid. Are you stupid? So now you speak Arabic. So, voluptuous. Huh? Is that your dictionary or someone else's dictionary? Desirable means voluptuous. That's what you're, you're no, 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 right I'm now. saying, hold on, yes. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. Does it say in the hadith, right after he mentioned desirable front passages, Allah will give you a penis, will never go to sleep? Yes or no? This hadith, yes, yes. that's what it's Okay, saying. so what the connection, hold on, what the connection between the penis will never go to sleep and desirable front passages? You are the genius, I'm listening, go ahead. What the connection between them? Because you know, when you say watermelon and then you say penis, doesn't make sense. When you say, hold on, when you say when you say Pepsi Cola and then you say penis, doesn't make sense. But if you say front passages and then you mention penis, obviously you are talking about women have in the front of them. What women have in the front of them, which is the penis, will be excited for it. Tell me, please. What is will make the penis of a Muslim excited for seeing in the front passages? Go ahead. For me, before even I even came here, I know one thing. You are going to play your games, go around the... Are you trying to hang up? Are you trying to run away? Are you trying to run away? See, guys, you have no answer. You are the one who prepare yourself maybe for a year. You are a, you are a person who prepare yourself for a year to answer me, refute me. The second you call me, you get busted. What is the connection? You are a coward. You will not answer. You will hang up. No, please answer me. What is the connection? What is the connection between the desirable front passages? We cannot talk in the same time, Abdul. We cannot talk in the same time. Please, 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 potato, potato. Listen, what is the connection between your God saying, your God Muhammad saying, penis and front passages? Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next point. No, 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 no. We want to finish the four point. Where do you want to go? You are grab you from your, your tail. You cannot leave away. You are trying to escape now. What is the connection between the front passages and the penis? Mr. Penis is there. Mr. Mrs. The front passages is there. What is the connection between yes. them? You are a genius. I'm listening. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, I should be just to, to understand this because people who are not genius will not understand this like you, right? My friend, I am asking you, I want to understand you, so I'm giving you the mic to talk. You are trying to escape, you want to answer. What is the connection? People want to know. People, do you want to know from Mr. What's your name? Uh, what's your name, my friend? What's your name? People want, you can call me CP if you want. Can I call you CP? Okay. So, his guys, his, his, his name is Muhammad CP. So, Muhammad CP... <laughs> He is saying no, 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 that, okay, hold on. No, no, he is saying, he is saying, I am going to go. I cannot, I cannot answer you. I am a coward. I have no answer for this. I repeat the question. What is the connection no. between Mrs. Miss Desirable front passages and Mr. Penis? Yes. The mic is yours. All right. Thank you very much. Mm. So now it's very simple here. We uh -huh. know that in the, in, in the, here, in the here after, which means the Jannah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm talking about, uh -huh. we're going to have women with uh, desirable front passages. That's what they are given. The men, what are they given? According to this hadith, are flexed, uh, uh, no, uh, male organs that do not become flaccid. That's what uh, it says. Hey, there what, is no uh, connection meant here. Just there, there's, there's no, no connection, guys. There's no connection here. So are you saying, okay, are you saying your prophet is, is suffering from flight of thought? He say things they have no connection with each other. Are you saying your prophet is a stupid? You just confirmed that Muhammad is a stupid idiot. He say things there's no connection between them. Sweet. Sir, sir, can you please, can you please now tell us 
why what gave you the idea when you know how to read arabic you understood when you were showing this hadith you, you ignored that, that part that explains abdul arabic. abdul 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 i can teach your god arabic and i can teach you and teach your god arabic and you are running away from the answer what is the connection you say there's no connection you just admit it that muhammad he say things they are not connected and he is making a stupid topic because if i make a speech if I say to you, I will give you in heaven women with desirable front passages, and then right away I jump to a penis, that means I'm a crazy person. So you admitted that your prophet is a crazy man. You see what I'm saying? I know I know that this whole thing is for just a, a show. Uh, for the sake exactly. Of the it's a show. We are showing everybody. We are showing everybody that your penis now is going limp. Your penis is, is shrinking. You cannot explain what is the connection between the penis of you and the front desirable of them. You say there's no connection. Obviously, you are saying that Muhammad is a stupid prophet. He say things does not make sense. Thank you very much. So are you going to answer or not? Bravo, Mr. RP. Bravo, Mr. RP. That's how, we, that's how it is. There we go. Bravo, RP. And I'm sorry for, for, for the insolence there. Like, the fact that I what is the answer? many times. What is the answer? I so, but you know, what is the answer? There is no way here. What is, what is, what is the answer? There is no way here that we spend are, you, are, you going, are you going to cry? Are you going to cry? Are you going to call your mommy? I'm asking you, please. Why your prophet oh, mentioned the word? Why, 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 why your prophet? Okay, why hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Right your prophet, he promised you a penis will never go sleep. Why your penis will not sleep, my friend? What does that mean? You see, that, that, that's what I was saying. That's what the, 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 the Muslim will be given. It doesn't mean that... It, it, okay, but why? Will okay, not... hold on. Oh, the Muslim will be given what? Make sentence, make full sentence. I, I don't understand. I, 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 the Muslim will be given what? I, I, I everything that Allah gave to the Muslims. What he will give them? 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 Yes, yes, I know. That's your style. You will take that and then emphasize on it and ignore the topic that we Here we go. About. I'm not a, we are in this hadith. We did not go over the hadith I showed you. You are. You see in the beginning, you, you deny that this is about vagina and about the breast. I showed you the verse from the Quran confirming that they are big books. And now I ask you, what is the connection between the first part and the second part? Why he is saying uh, your penis will never go sleep? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, you say it. Okay. Desirable. You made up okay, desirable. What is desirable about? What is desirable? And they are desirable to what, my friend? They are desirable to who and to what? To, to, to the Muslims. Okay, to, to what, people, what, what to, Muhammad he mentioned? Okay, you, you, what Muhammad he mentioned? What Muhammad he mentioned about those Muslims? What kind of Muslims they are? They have a penis will never go stay, correct? <laughs> are, are you looking at your phone? Sir, uh, you don't say me, don't say me, my friend. You are in the corner. Everybody is dying laughing at you. You are a prophet. He said it clearly that those Muslims, they have a penis, will never go sleep. And now I'm going to bring you women who they are hookers. They have nothing good about them except what is good about those women? Nothing except their breast and their vagina. They are even people of hellfire. They are inheritance. When you say inheritance, just to show you how stupid you are. When you say inheritance of people of hellfire, that means they will follow them to hellfire for they are inheritance of people of hellfire. You are certified it like your prophet. Secondly, you just mentioned clearly that those are desirable to the Muslims. I ask you what it says about penis. You said this is what Allah will give them. So I who promise you a strong penis. Not question. Is your God Allah is the God of the Hindu who have the stone of Shiva and this is the penis which is going to be worshipping in heaven for now you became a product of penis you what you will do in heaven what Muslim will do in heaven listen you are speaking about worshipping in heaven what is it saying that people are going to be worshipping uh, penis in heaven Mr. Okay, Please. okay, hold on, hold on, okay, 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 okay. The Quran says, the Quran says that the Muslims in heaven, they will be faqihun. Do you know the interpretation for that verse, faqihun? Uh -huh. Can you open it please for us? Uh -huh. What? You, 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 never, you never heard of it? You never, uh, you never heard? You, you no, never... I don't want you to speak and not show the verse. But that's what you do. You okay. mention what you chapter want. Chapter 30. No, that's always I mention the verse. I put it in the screen. People, they see it. Chapter 36, verse number 55. People of heaven, they will be paradise doing heavy, happily things. What is those happily things? Thank you. Home. <laughs> what? Why are you are laughing? Are you laughing at your prophet? Because because right now you want me to teach you what are the, 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 the rewards that Allah kept for the, the yeah the teach me okay I'm, I'm listening yeah teach me right? okay brother teach me go okay. ahead I'm, I'm listening you said that 
life tomorrow. We can take this topic. No, 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 not tomorrow. No, 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 no. You said I said I said it clearly. I will make an exception just for you, and you are trying to run away because you have no no idea what to say. Your prophet he says here that when you go to heaven, you will be doing dahman dahman. You will be effing women, pushing pushing. Is that true or I'm lying? Is that true or I'm lying? That your prophet he says about the, about this verse that in the heaven your penis will be pushed hard hard. Yes or no? Yes or no? Of the paradise, come on, come on. I'm asking you. I'm asking up, you. Like up other stories, we cannot long and we can talk about them because the, the thing you know it said in the Muntakina Mafaza, Hadaiko Anaba, or Kawain Batra. The question, the question, the question, the question, the question, chapter 36, verse number 55. Is it true that Allah He promised you that you will be effing women and your penis will never sleep and you will be pushing so hard? Yes or no? Mr. Mr. R.P. Yes or no? Yes or no? Potato. Potato. Yes or no? Yes or yes or no? Please. Yes or no? Is it? Does it? Does this verse speak about? Is this verse is about that Allah will give you a penis and you will do dahman dahman and you will push so hard your penis inside the women? Excuse me, ladies. We are here speaking about religion. Yes or no? Am I lying? Then about what, sir? Uh, about what, guys? How many times I need to repeat the question? Let me repeat again. He got deaf because the shaitan, he pissed in his ears as in the hadith it says. Suddenly, the shaitan is pissing in his ears now. Is it true that your prophet said about this verse that when you go to heaven, you will be having sex, dahman, dahman, which means you will push so hard your penis inside the women and you will be given a power of 100 men. Yes or no? Uh, okay, yes. Okay. okay. And let me look up, up to it, but I've heard that hadith. Okay, I'm hold on, hold on, guys. He just said yes. Hold on, hold on a second. There's, 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 there's no need now to debate about it. So, so look, let's, let us connect the dot. So we have a God. We have a God. He promised you that you go to heaven. You have a very strong penis. When we agree, when we agree, both of us, that you made up that hadith and interpreted the way you wanted. No, I did not. I did not. I got you busted. I got you busted. I got you busted. Those are inheritance. Those are inheritance. You are a coward. You are a coward, and everybody laughing at you. And I know that this the, the one who sent you is Fifi because he don't dare to call me. Is Fifi next to you? People are disappointed in you because they, they believe that when you say that they are hookers, they believe that they, they are hookers because what is good about them? Okay, my friend, my friend. Okay, hold on, hold on, guys. If I say to you, I will give you women nothing good about them except their vagina and their breast. Obviously, they are hookers. They are hired for sex. What do you mean nothing good about? What is it saying? That okay, show me what is okay, my friend. Okay, no problem. What is good about them? The hadith. Okay, my friend. Uh, no, 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 no. I want you to show me what, what is what Allah He said. What Allah He said about them. What Allah said about them. Go ahead. What Allah said about them. Read. Inheritance of product. They are who have desirable front passages. Out of whom will have desirable front passages? If I say that I have, I, I, I have uh, a BMW. Does it mean that I don't have a Porsche? Now the, I don't have, I don't have, I don't have, guys, I don't have just, just go, just go, get lost, get lost, potato, get lost, get lost, let your dad call me, I don't have time, uh, you're just, you're just a coward, potato, I talk about women, talk about Porsche, potato, I want you, if you are a man, to download this part of the video and to post it in your channel, if you are a man, if you have dignity, as it is, and let people judge, are they hookers or not? Inheritance of people of hellfire, the always when you say inheritance, it means they will follow them. You inherit something, it follow you. This is what inheritance. And Allah, then he will choose from those inheritance, not all of them, only women who have nice boobs and nice vagina. And the coward, when I ask him, what the connection between the front passages and the penis? He said there's no connection when i said to him allah he promised big boobs he said where it says big boobs we showed him the quran <laughs> and when we showed to him that the quran says that the muslim will be busy fakihun having boom boom he agreed that yes i said to him do you agree that muhammad and allah says in the heaven you will have a penis will never go sleep and you will be doing boom boom 
pushing so hard excuse my language your penis inside the woman vagina he said yes what do you want more people to agree that this is a satanic pimp cult if Muhammad is a prophet of God why he is tempting his men by their penises and their testicles and women desirable front what about saying we will give you women wife she is beautiful you love her and she love you God himself he created Adam and Eve not he did not say to Adam I will give you women who have big boobs shame on you you made women nothing but sex toys what the women will be doing in heaven nothing except opening their legs and you Muslims Allah will give you a powerful penis and you will be drilling for oil and this fool he think he can debate me and he prepare for this maybe God knows for how long and look what happened he is the one who chose the topic he is the one who wanted the topic and then suddenly he said let us go to the second point we don't want to talk about it no more you are going to be famous and people will be dying laughing at you what is the connection between guys not only that the guy he just agreed that Muhammad he is suffering from flight of thought why are you are calling me back what do you want to say what do you want to say uh, Ma what, what do you want to say do you have an answer or you have no answer you know, call me because, actually, huh? because you say I, I called you because you just said right now that I've prepared for a year actually you can ask it to herself you can text her she will tell you that yeah, she told me about this less than a week Oh, okay so guys he prepared for it for a week only he prepared for this for a week only he prepared for okay so now you are saying you so you are saying you prepare for this only for a week I mean only seven days and and then you admitted all this garbage so okay so you look you ask a tuna the day that she showed me I, I downloaded whatsapp I texted you I texted, did not reply and you saw my message because you called me right now I called you picked I think that it's been, I don't know, two or, or Abdul, how many days. It doesn't matter. A year or a week is the same. You fail and everybody is laughing. I asked you why yes, Muhammad mentioned what you I know. Fit, okay, I did right you did, did okay? Listen, listen. Did you agree? Did, the, uh, okay, I want you to explain to us. Hold on, hold on. As long you are the one who agree, you are the one who agree that Allah will give you a penis will never go steep and you will be pushing so hard in the heaven. Why your God is so sexual? Yes, you agree. I said to you, Dahman, Dahman, God, did he say yes? I said, Dahman, Dahman, you said yes. Do you want me to put it on the screen? Do you want me to? Okay, can you translate to me the word Dahman, Dahman? What the word Dahman, Dahman mean? What the word? I was calling you because as I am done with you, what the word Dahman, Dahman mean? Okay, so you agree that your God is a sexual God. He's a pimp. He promised you a penis. You will be pushing so hard inside the woman's vagina. What kind of God this God is? Your mind. <laughs> what? Why you are laughing? Are you laughing at your God? LCD promise me. But my friend, you, no, uh, guys, no. uh, promise me, guys, promise me. I promise you what? A penis will never sleep. I cannot do that because what? your penis is already sleeping. As you are a scholar, what else are the things that Muslims are going to get? You, you are the scholar. Mm. I am a pharmacist. I'm studying pharmacy here. You are a pharmacy? I didn't even study. Okay, wonderful. Anything. Guys, this guy, he do pharmacy. Yeah. You're a prophet. He found the medicine for Corona. Is that correct? What? Are you laughing at your prophet now? Here we go. Yes. Your prophet, he said that this medicine can solve any okay, disease. Can now, can you please now look up to the, the other point that I wanted to... Pharmac so pharmacist, 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 I want, I want to take advantage of your knowledge in pharmacy. Is it true that the nigla seed is remedy for any disease in the world except death or Muhammad is lying? Uh, Mr. Mr. CP. Hmm. I, I made I made a promise to to your fan that I will speak to you about these two topics and I no problem. But you just so mentioned you, you see my friend. You can always call me. We can have time. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. We we got this talk. No no hold on. Okay, Mr. Pharmacist, are you our pharmacist? I'm so happy to have you educated. Do you agree with your prophet's statement that nigla seed is remedy for every disease, or he is a fraud? So, as I was saying, hmm. 
as you ignore mine, I'm just going to ignore yours. If you want to ask, you talk about okay. those. You can ignore. Can about so you are ashamed of what? Okay, so you are saying you are saying you are ashamed of your private lie. No, I did not ignore. You asked me a question. I gave you the whole answer, and I got you busted with no mercy. And I have five fingers in your bum. Everybody is my witness. Now I'm asking you. You mentioned that uh, you are a pharmacist, Mr. Pharmacist. Do you agree that nigla seed is the, is the, is the remedy for every disease? Even where I live. Okay, I hold can on. Even give you where I live, so you can come and see me. Because I know that for me, at least, I, would Abdul, I don't want to be running around. Abdul, this is Sahih Hadith. This is Sahih Hadith. Okay, what about this one? Is it true that if a woman comes first, the baby will be a girl, and if the man comes first, the baby will be a boy, Mr. Pharmacist? So, or your profit is a fraud? We can, can we can we can we take up the other point so we can talk about everything you want tomorrow yeah, yeah. no no <laughs> why, why tomorrow why tomorrow why tomorrow you are here i am here you see even i'm tired from talking i'm willing to speak to you i'm having fun why you are a boy you are a pharmacist i'm taking advantage of your knowledge is it true what your prophet said that the next seed they are remedy for all disease except death and is it true that if the women have orgasm first the baby will be a girl and if a man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy and this is how the look look like too people people know how you have fun when you have fun okay let us make let us guys let us let us make a promise let us make a promise listen abdul listen listen abdul listen abdul you gave me a question. I answered you about the question. We are done. Everybody is laughing. Now it's my time to ask you a question one by one. And then you can ask me the second question. No problem. It's my turn now. Do you agree with your prophet? Do you agree with your prophet saying that when a woman have when a woman have orgasm, the baby will look like the woman as a child, as a as a female, because she have orgasm first? Yes or no? Uh, Mr. RP, I honestly don't know why I'm, I'm calling you RP, Rotten Potatoes. Mr. CP, hmm. a Christian prince. Because you are nervous, it's okay. Give, no, which, no, it's because I've been listening to you saying calling people potatoes while you are a rotten one. That's why I'm. I'm oh, I, let I'm us see. Okay, let us see. Who is the one is running? Here we go. We 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 debated your 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 first call and we got you busted with no mercy and people will be the judge. That one wonderful. Now it's my time to ask you a question. You are a pharmacist. I take advantage of that. When your prophet says the Nigla seed have the, the remedy for all disease except death, did he lie? And do you agree? And you study you study medicine. Do you agree that if a woman have orgasm first, the baby will look like the mother, and if the father have orgasm first, the baby will look like the father, which means as a male. Yes or no? What did you specialize? I, I, I share that secret of me, uh, that part of me. Can my specialize? You? Okay, I, I, will, I will tell you what my specialty. I am. I work in mechanic. I take Allah apart. I took all the screws and I give it back to him. So I screw Allah. Oh, hmm. oh that's, that, that, that's your profession. Yes, this is my profession. Do you, do you, prove me wrong. Here we go. Go ahead. I'm asking you a question. Prove me wrong. Is your prophet a fraud when he's did your prophet commit a fraud? Did your prophet commit a fraud when he said that? Yes or no? Sir, sir. Don't serve me. I want an answer, Mr. Pharmacist. Why you are ashamed? Why you Muslim suddenly are ashamed of what your prophet said? You say Quran have miracles, the prophet speak of the science, etc. Suddenly you don't want to talk about it. Yeah, what do you mean suddenly? I told you I'm ready to talk about them. We can talk about Okay, them. Well, that, that will take you a few minutes. You are, you are a pharmacist. Go ahead. Instead of me repeating, don't make me lose my voice. Honestly, I'm speaking for many hours, my friend. Come on. Don't force me to hang up on you. Okay. Are you going to answer or not? Are you going to answer or not? Nothing takes two minutes. We didn't even ask what I was talking about. But my friend, take one hour. Here we go. I will take a nap. I'm listening. Go ahead. Why your prophet? He said this in the screen. Go ahead. Nothing takes two minutes with you, sir. Take what do you want? Uh, half hour, go ahead. Half hour, go I ahead, guys. Half hour, half I hour, half I hour, go ahead. Go. No, 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 no. You have no excuse. You said you want five minutes is not enough. Two minutes is enough. Half hour, go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. What? Half hour to answer this. Go half hour. I will give you half hour to answer this. Go ahead. About answer what? Guys, you don't know the question yet. I mean, how many times I repeat the question? What? Suddenly they go deaf. What kind of a prophet he says that Nejla seed, Nejla seed, they have remedy for all disease except death. And what kind of a prophet he says if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. And if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl and they will look the same as the mother. Is that accurate in science or this is a stupid statement from a false fraud prophet? Uh, 
this time, Mr. RP. Look, look, I told you, if I want to talk about this, I'm, I'm okay, because I know it's not going to take two minutes, because you're going to fluctuate and go to something else. No, we Let's will not, we will not. Like, I promise in the front of everybody, I promise in the front of everybody, the second, the second question will be your question. Guys, is that fair? I promise in the front of everybody. The second question after you answer this one is going to be your question asking me or the topic you choose. I promise. Now go ahead. Right now about you is that what you do is avoid everything that goes against you because you, you, you cannot, you, that you cannot. People are laughing. You are the one who's running away. Okay, so you are saying to me, okay, let us make it clear. You are saying right now that what, what I am showing in the screen, proving your property. Don't talk, don't talk. We can't talk in the same. Because whenever she spoke about anything, I would tell her that no, that yes, one do not agree yes, with. Yes. So right now, right now that I confronted you, that I told you that we are not even done about what we're talking about. That okay, we, guys, we are not done. Okay, I will go back. You are the one. You are the one who says you stupid. You stupid. You are the one who said let us change the topic. You are the one who said let us change the topic. You coward. You coward. Isn't it you who said let us change the topic? Let us go back. What is the connection between the penis and the breast? That being said, mm. Mr. RP, RT, I now that he you called me RT, Russia I Today. He called me RT, guys. He called me RT, Russia Today. This is how the university is. Listen, what is the connection? Don't make... Okay, get lost, get lost. Get lost, get lost. Get lost. Get Salam uh, alaikum. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Coward, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Bye. Coward. Potato. I'm guessing that the lady is next to you. I don't know even how she allowed a Muslim to enter her house because be careful. Muslims are allowed to have sexual intercourse with the children like their prophet. So if you have a children around, and not only that, actually, Muslims believe that they can have sex with their own children if they are children of adultery. And I challenge this potato to call me and say you are a liar. What do you think, guys? He's listening now. Is it true that you Muslims believe that if you have a child from adultery, a female child from adultery, you can have sex with her and the mother? Yes, it's true. I challenge him to call me back and get me busted. He will never dare to do so. What is the question? What is the question? What is the connection? I don't see connection. Jalalain for chapter 36, verse number 55. Well, we know we, we, we showed him that uh, you know, he agreed actually. You do not need to show anything. He agreed. You know, he agreed. This guy, he did not say no, it doesn't say that. He said yes. We were busy in heaven pushing our penis hard inside the women vagina. He agreed. So we do not need really. That's why I did not go and show uh, uh, things in the front of us. But he agreed that this is what it says. Very filthy cult. Very satanic cult. Women, they became sex toys. There's nothing good about the women except their breast and their vagina. And this God will make you do nothing there except... Uh, uh, you know, making the virgin lose their virginity. Yeah, but that the, uh, the, the general line here is not even showing you all things. You know, if you want to go and see Ibn Kathir, see see all kind of you know, there's the translation is not really right. I can call any time. You know, we 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 just needed. I, I was leaving actually, but this lady she insisted that this person want to call me. Blah 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 blah. You know, they get hot. They, they, you think they have something. And, and he said he is studying this only for a week. Only not a year. Only a week, man. It's not enough to answer you, Christian Prince. A week. Took you a week for this. And after a week, you get such a spank. How embarrassing. And now, if you are really, if you consider that you did answer me and you confronted me, I challenge you, all of you Muslims, to take this video and post it in your channel. Is that fair, guys? If the Muslims are proud about what this guy he said, I want you to download the video and post it. Can you? You will never do so. 
you will quote maybe a little bit of my words, but you will not. Like Mimi Hijab, he says, I was saying to a Muslim woman, suck on me. When the fact the Muslim woman, she was saying that Jesus was playing with his mother, you know, we don't want to say the word, filthy women. I was saying, I said to her, the fact it's your prophet who says, suck on me. The filthy Mimi Hijab, he cut the video. He said, Christian prince says, suck on me to a Muslim woman. Cowards. Coward like their prophet. Fraud. What do you expect from a fraud? Fraud. All of you are the same. Fraud like you're a prophet. And, you know, he have no shame to say, yes, Allah, he promised us in the heaven we'll be doing boom, boom, and we will be pushing so hard. I mean, what kind of God he say those words? What kind of God he say is such a statement? Isn't it amazing how scary this cult is? This is why those people, they want to go and die. They are not dying for Muhammad. They are dying for, not, not even for the sake of Allah. They are dying for the sake of their penis. They are penis worshippers. They don't worship God. Why do they want to go to heaven? For the penis, for the vagina, not for God. All what they want is a vagina. And those women, Muhammad, he promised them they will be white and you can see through the marrow of their bones. Why? For he is a filthy racist against people of color. He promised them women, they are so white to the point they are transparent and you can see through the marrow of their bones, as you see. And not only that, Allah will take jealousy from the heart of those women. Why? Because they are sex toys, which means they have no emotion. Guys, do you see it? Read it carefully. This is Sahih Bukhari. Allah, their heart will be, the Muslim in the heaven, they will be as a one single man. And then, they will be, have neither enmity nor jealousy among themselves. Everyone will have two wives from the Huris, and who will be beautiful, pure, transparent, that you can see the marrow of their bones, of their legs, you see through the flesh this is God so white to the point we see the bones the marrow not even the bones how this is can be from God you tell me I never saw evil filthy cult as the god and the cult of muhammad for it is a fabrication for the sake of muhammad private part and his pocket everything even the muslims agree that muhammad have 16 privilege about nine of them is about his pocket and his penis this is your wife in heaven brother i'm sure you are so excited very sexy and you know it i cannot wait myself to convert to islam so beautiful look at this move oh boy i don't know i mean this is too much allah is amazing i mean how allah knew that this is what will make us really tempted unless he is genius we will see the marrow of their bones, transparent. Why? She is a jellyfish. Hey, brother, let me introduce for you my wife, uh, Brother Zakanaik. Where is your wife? Breath breath. The reason you cannot see my wife, because she is transparent. What? The reason you cannot see my wife, because my wife is transparent. What do you mean, trans? trans, trans what, why are you are spitting at me, man? Let me open the umbrella. What again? The reason you cannot see my wife because he is transparent. A transparent? So she is here now? Exactly. Where is she? I told you, idiot. It. It's transparent. Uh, okay. So she's like a, like a jellyfish or exactly. 
And how you know where her lips is located? Listen, Prince. Those are secret, and Allah did not reveal to us to reveal to you. Ah, okay. So, uh, Zaka Naik, is your wife beautiful? Very beautiful. How you know if she is transparent? Listen, Prince, you are crazy. But we just said transparent, which means you can see nothing. So how you know she is beautiful? Maybe she is ugly, and she is transparent. Christian friends, Allah promised us that we will have women with big boobs. Big boobs. If they are transparent, what's the point? Exactly. What's the point? Simply, whoop there is not because we will, are going to enjoy their look. We are going to enjoy the milk. Ah, you will milk them. Exactly, Christian friends. And now you are getting smarter. This is God. This is heaven. You be the judge. Stupidity is amazing. And if a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? Somebody says you should say how foolish. No, I prefer to say how fool. How fool. Not how foolish. How fool. You are following a fool. And you have to be a fool to promise such a promise. And you have to be a fool to believe in such a promise. Welcome to the full world. The world of penis and vagina and transparent jelly wife. Take care. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for those who download, share the video, translate, add subtitle, and for those who support us in our mission. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove it to you every day. Every day. And the Lord is coming, and time will come, and you will pay for following the devil. Hell is real, heaven is real, and I guarantee you that Muhammad is in hellfire as we speak. Filthy, guilty, red-handed. The man, his name, Qatham, the son of Abdullah. God bless, Christ is Lord. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.